What a way to start. Ah, uh, there we go. Is everything working? I think it is. Nice, nice, nice. Computer might lag a bit, but it's fine. Ha. Ah, hello, Aaron and Wufu and Dragon Soul. Anyone else might kind of be like it. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> uh, beat Final Blow Awakening today. Let's see Nicola final boss with 69 damage critical hit. Hell yeah. I've never played a, um, a Fire Emblem game, so I don't know if 69 is a lot, but... I mean, if it's the final boss, then I guess it is a lot. I forgot which weapon I had on. That was loud. Let's, uh, not have that on right now. Ah. <laughs> uh. But, yeah, it's been a hot second. A, a hot minute. Um, since my last stream. Uh, because I really needed to take the rest yesterday. So I had to do that. But over the weekend, I, uh... I actually went out with a group of friends. Uh, we were meant to go, uh, go play D&D together, but uh, for circumstances we couldn't do that. Uh, but we watched the D&D movie, and it's actually surprisingly good. <laughs> so that was nice. But, yes. I can't talk too much about that because I don't want to spoil anyone if they are interested in that. Yeah. I see that damage more than max health of the majority of units in the game. Even bosses? What? Okay, yes. Then, congrats. That is a, a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. We didn't get me too much. You doing nice? Hope we didn't get cold. I did not get a cold, no, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, she got a nice new outfit. I like this outfit a lot, yeah. It looks great on Jesse. Mm hmm. But yes, if we're if we're doing all Langston's runaways, we do have to Actually we have to for the first one, go back to the sealed threshold. We can do that easy. For the middle one, we have to continue the main story, because it wants us to go to Prime Candidate as well. And I don't know if I've ever been to Protective Studies. And I feel like everything's so loud right now. Mm hmm. Oh, it's just more source we can upgrade, charge. Yes, please. Mm hmm. The so research. Protective Studies. Oh, Protective Studies is like. Just south of here. Hmm. Cleanse the rubber duck. I love awakening. Ah! I didn't know you were into Fire Emblem, Aaron. Hmm. <laughs> well, critical hits of Fire Emblem are uh, three times damage. Only very weak critical hits are survivable. I see. I need to turn down the volume a bunch. This is all very loud. Okay. There definitely didn't used to be guys in here. You know what? This is a great chance to try out this. Hell yeah. This gun is dangerous, but... It's fun. So it's... Two blows. An initial bang and then a secondary pop. Okay, it's a bit weird with hitboxes as all. This this is what we want, the rubber duck. Wait. Combat is still on? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so now we just need to find a way into the duck chamber, I guess? 
Hmm. Uh, when you, I know you love black clothes because Whitney is Chuny of your own villain costume. It's very Chuny, you're people's favorite. I'm not Chuny. I wish I was, though. I wish I had, like, the... The... The, the, for, the mental fortitude and self-confidence to just be a fucking weirdo all the time. Hmm. I'm fine that, I see. Hmm. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard bunch I will become shitty for you. I can do it. I'm sure you can, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Next, a series of solutions. Okay, I'm listening to this in case it'll tell me how to get in there. Different values in the pH scale from 0 to 14. Mm hmm. Listening, 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 listening. This is weird that they locked the door. Okay, talking to the duck. So what? The duck just kind of exists it it doesn't have any explicit i i know exactly how to get in now look at what we have behind us this door connects up with a, a central thing we have to enter the two it all adds up back here there's that room we couldn't get into because the the hole is too high we couldn't reach the hole Now we can fly. <laughs> See, this hole. Wait. It's quacking at me. What? Oh, there's mold in here. And when your aim skills are pretty respectable, I've seen you play lots of FPS games in old streamer days. Yeah, when he's a well trained gamer. Thank you. I mean, I like to I like to imagine that I have a pretty decent aim as well. Um, for some weird reason, my aim is terrible in this game. <laughs> Honestly. I miss a lot of shots. But like, yeah, I played Doom in Nightmare Mode, and I played Bioshock in Survivor Mode, and I did a bunch of challenging things. Oh. Disappearing ducks. Fucking Great. duck. Can I open this? Yes, okay. Is the duck... No, the duck's going the other way, I think. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Quack, quack. There. Okay. Honestly, the surround sound kind of helps for this. Not this way. I need a professional speedrunning, professional speedrunning on Nightmare Mode for games. I'm, I don't speedrun. I don't. Up there. In the back. It, huh? Do I have to do something special? Or do I just have to chase it? Oh, it's down here now. Okay, it's actually moving to new locations. <gasps> there we go. Stupid duck. Finally, no more Wait. quacking. Oh. I mean, it teleported right as I finished it, so I don't know if that was supposed to work. Uh huh. <laughs> Flying is so cool. Okay. So, we have to do the containment. Uh, seal threshold atrium? Maybe? 
I don't know where in the steel threshold we have to go. Ow. I mean, it's in the hole. Everything's in the hole. Wait, no, it says in the corridor. Ah. Imagine Persona 6 released at this type of game design. I think it's possible to be comfortable for old fans. I want to see realistic disaster and a dramatic character's emotion. I think... <laughs> if Persona 6 was something like this, that would just be kind of... Weird. Because they've always been, like, strategic, turn-based things. So for them to become... Like this would be strange. Oh, this is the checkpoint. This is the wrong direction. What? Oh. Ah. Let's test out the new toys. Oh! This thing can also wreck shields. should be made in my image. What does that even imply? Like what? That just everything has to look like you? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> that flamingo colored glow. Mm hmm. What is that emote? I see. Hype evil. Wait, do I even have that? I don't No, I do have that, yeah. I have every hype train emote. <gasps> A flamingo. Oh. That's got to be an altered item. Flamingo. Flamingo. What? How do I do this again? Ah. Wait, I'm not allowed to touch the ground at all. Uh huh. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. That was. I thought the flamingo was much harder than that. I like this, though. Uh, and I like my personality, my vibes. Ah, yes. Oh shit. Oh, okay. It's Mr. Wal it's Mr. Big Eye. But yeah, Aaron, like a a persona with your vibe would just be SMT. I'm so <laughs> I'm so fucking powerful now. Like, I, I, I've put all of my uh, stats right now in really just being good at yeeting shit. Pink. Like, that, that's all... That's all Jesse can do. Let's head back to the checkpoint. So, because... Yeah, I have max energy and I have max launch damage. So, so everything just kind of has a tendency to die on me. I've been putting stuff into melee, even though I don't use it. Because why not? Melee's fun. Okay, so... Now, it wants to go here. Which I guess is through security? Or something? There's actually a whole side wing to the Panopticon we haven't touched on. Huh. Yeah, if we go to... Yeah, I guess if we go to logistics, we can head into security and up there. <clears throat> Wendy's just starting to play game while he's streaming. I know it's rude to not listen to Wendy's very funny talk carefully, but I want to play game right now. It's perfectly all right, Whoopoo. <laughs> you can play all the games and have all the fun you want. Any new upgrades? Oh, tier 4 headshot boost. Wait, what? No, it's an energy one. God damn it. 
was getting my hopes up. We have tier one thing here. Ew. Is anything new here? Nope. We do have a couple of lowly tier twos and threes. Hmm. Let's see. Put a record on. I don't care. Actually, I might want to do it. It's a side quest. And side quests have to be done. Uh, this is the main quest. It tells us to go to the Prime Candidate program. Let's do that. Is Polaris going to tell me where to go? Maybe? No, this lighting is very cool. When you have old alien movies, the UFOs appear with this type of strong, bright white light. And fog is mysterious and cool. Mm-hmm. Gonna be the husband of Jesse, old accident inside this guy, or can't I sit my cyber life? <laughs> or me. I can't be her husband. I don't even think I can be her wife. <clears throat> I'm allowed to play a game now. Thanks for giving me freedom, best game in chat. <laughs> You're always allowed to play games. <clears throat> you. You. Have I looted this? I have. This rocket pistol is so nice. I mean, honestly, it kind of reminds me of Destiny. It's it's like something Destiny would have. Actually, now that I think about it, I literally have a pretty similar thing in Destiny. I don't remember what weapon type it is. It's, it's like some kind of rifle. But... <laughs> Instead of shooting bullets like, like a... Like a normal gun, it actually just is a grenade launcher. Ah, it's it's what exotics will do for you. I took a look at my uh, my my Steam page, and I played Destiny for almost sixty hours now, which I know is like nothing compared to a bunch of the very dedicated Destiny fans out there. But, it's a lot for me. Actually, let me see. How far up on the on the leaderboard is it? Because I like to, like, look on, like, the library page and see how far up something is. Yeah, Destiny made it onto the third line in my library. And to make it onto the second line, it has to beat up Nier Automata at, like, a hundred hours. I was innocent with my a thousand hours in Destiny 2. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. I don't have a, a thousand hours in any game on Steam. Like, I absolutely have a thousand hours in Minecraft and Skyrim. Those are the only games I've ever gotten that much time in. But, not on Steam. Because I just... I can't deal with grinding. It's weird to be... Oh. Playing Destiny when I can't deal with grinding, but yeah, I cannot shoot through mesh. Huh. Mirror supplement. Okay. Oh, Victoria Mira. Yeah, she's a minute to mental health, emotional instability. So after really got to Illinois with her family in 1914, I moved. There it is. Uh. I don't want to be a PS on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated the sudden rise and disappearances in blank, Illinois. Agents find the item uh, hanging in a local library. Uh, they contain it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Oh. Yeah, so the mirror ate people. More or less. Hmm. I want to see Minecraft when you stream it in the future. Oh, I absolutely will stream Minecraft sometime in the future. Uh... I just need to find some reason or something. Oh, trench. Uh huh. Who is P7? Is it me? So P6 is my brother Dylan, who I'm sure is not a real human being.
Oh. They've got a hiss orb nearby. I love the yeet power so much. And it just gets... I mean... No. It has, it has hit a plateau by now. But just for so long... It just kept getting more and more powerful. What the hell? It doesn't hit him. Weird. Uh-huh. I mean, we just have to deal with him this way then. Ah, he's in my hallway! Okay, okay, okay. Where is anything? Okay, he's there. Oh yeah, actually. Since he's healing, we should go and deal with the... Um, the orb. There it is. Oh, we got it, though. And take it. It keeps... I don't fully understand. Because... While... The... Like, RPG power should be... Super powerful. It keeps getting stuck on, like, basic stuff. So, it's kind of just more of a hassle than anything. Like, if I'm gonna put in all my power on hitting something and I just get stuck, it's not good. Oh, P6, P7. Box. Hmm. My team lost for commenting. Well, I don't care. I care about Jesse's fight. And when you what happens if you play Animal Crossing, you're going to be restarted as Fresh Journey. No more Rat Jam. Uh, actually, my aunt really wants to um to play Animal Crossing with me. Uh, and I would I would just keep going with my old island. Closed cases. Huh. Okay. So, Aaron, yeah, if you're tired, you should go to sleep. Oh, <gasps> bright fall summary. Hour wait time. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Colton Lake, Washington, resulted in the fictional story written by author Alan Wake, created in a creating an altered world event in which reality was altered to match that of the story, uh, though only locally and for a limited time. In that response, Mr. Kirkland had of investigations with the London on September 13th, 2010, by ex bureau agent Frank Breaker, C. Blank, that an altered world event event uh, was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington, with photo uh, events investigated in 1970, 76. 78. Breakout received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who's uh, the current sheriff of Bright Falls. Oh, <gasps> yeah! Uh, a bureau field team arrived two days uh, at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to uh, the 1970 blank Thomas Zane, 1976, uh, 1978 Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson, yes! Uh, Alan Wake was believed to blank uh, instigator. Eyewitness reports uh, highlight an old light switch, possibly object of power, a blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but nobody uh, has recovered in the search. I do like uh, Odin and Tor Anderson. <sighs> I miss those old guys. Also, but. <laughs> And we got Threshold Kids, the most cursed show. Mm -hmm. I, I do love that they keep like treating. Um, I wish things had gone differently in ordinary. For they, they keep treating like Alan Wake as like a, a, an actual case. 
finding the projector of will. Okay. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Dylan Faden. Six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, so much potential. Uh huh. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And I don't know the doctor's name. It's completely different circumstances here. What happened to Northmore? There was an incident. An incident, yes. I like they printed out the um the, like little puzzle um hexagons. Ah. But he's he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. Mm hmm he, he, he needs some slack. I think boys will be boys. <laughs> Excessive force is not what boys will be boys is all about. A lot of stress. Robert's got killed. Uh, deaths. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Darling sure has a lot of faith in Dylan. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Will we make this work? Uh huh. Do as you're told, don't eat mold. Even the smallest amount of mold can cause serious harm. Contact security immediately. Uh huh. They don't fade in transcript. Uh. Oh, stop showing me her. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. Both left me in a rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I'll dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want to be. Uh, I want you here. Get the fucking message. So he was alone. Did Polaris try to. actually be there with Dylan? He seeks victim autopsy. Oh no! Agent killed blank involving blank blank code name P6. Hmm. <laughs> Autopsy findings blunt force injuries of head and neck, extensive trauma of the abdominal region, lacerations and concussions of the upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae? No! Avulsion fracture of the third through tenth of ribs, left and right? Blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. That is so fucking excessive. That is excessive to the point where it had to be intentional. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. What? No, I need to know what was contorted through what. Uh-huh. Okay, but yeah, this was P6. And now we need to know about P7. Which I'm guessing is Jesse. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Huh. Pictures of her sleeping on a bench. Pictures of, of her in the library. That's out of a coffee place. Last seen at a train station, probably? Ugh. Can't find your office? Watch your step. Oh, she she did say she worked as a janitor once. That pick. Uh huh. Her petting a dog. Eating a sandy. On a bus destination? Question mark. Talking to someone. Mm -hmm. All those times I felt paranoid. Oh. I was right. 
the Bureau oh, could have yeah. given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. They have to be secret, Jesse. <gasps> outfit! We got a new outfit! It's probably not a cool outfit, but we got an outfit. Jesse Faden movement tracking. Uh, yeah. Eastward movement, cause of concern. Depart Cheyenne, uh, what's that, Wyoming? Arrives in Sydney. N.E. Nebraska. Departs Sydney to Nebraska. Arrive in Des Moines. I.A. I.A.? Which state is that? I have no idea. I have to look it up. Iowa, of course. Such a forgettable state. Um, yeah, departs in Des Moines, Iowa. Arrives in Chicago. Uh, Illinois. Departs Chicago. Arrives in South Bend, Indiana. Departs South Bend. Arrives in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Bloomsburg, PA. Uh, PA? Yeah, departs Bloomsburg and then arrives in New York City. Pennsylvania, maybe? Yeah, it is Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay, there's an audio log. Oh. Mm -hmm. Everyone played in the dump. This is... Okay, here. And then wants us to go to the Order AWE. There's a turntable. But since we are here in this zone... Oh, we got new stuff? Eh, nothing interesting though. Stuff for this? Nothing interesting though. Hmm. Yeah, let's put on the mannequin thing. Cause it is supposedly somewhere in the prime candidate program. Okay. Hello, Moon Master of Munchies. Hi, my name is Moon. I'm new here, trying to enjoy some controlled gameplay from a, a fellow game enthusiast. So let's have some fun. Heck yeah! Welcome in. I'll be having a wonderful day. <laughs> okay, I think. Wait, is that? I see the mannequin. Okay. Okay. Whew. But yeah, I. I love this game. It's wonderful. Oh, is that stuff here? Oh yeah. Br oh, bright full supplement. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found dr uh, during the bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of blank memory loss. She was then directed to treatment. It's concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Force events are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman, refer to the creator's dilemma in the file of Re the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the uh, result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential peri-utilitarian, uh, in 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor peri-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes. A, uh, a monitoring station was established at Cotton Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Oh. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, this is where the... It's not gonna... Yeah. God. Oh. Anything creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Yeah. Which is the... 
Oh, there are so many of them. Which one is the real one? I guess I'll just run through them until one of them says F. This one. That feels too simple. It was, huh. Okay, and then return to Langston. Sure. But, oh wait, this just goes on. But yeah, let's keep moving on and then when we find the next control point, we can head back down. Or, yeah, head over to Langston's place. There's probably gonna be something through here. You studied what uh, happened yeah, Alan Wake's in Simulus yeah. Control. I'm still waiting for Alan Wake 2. Yeah, um, there's, there's also that third game that's also in the same universe. But I just, yeah, I absolutely love it. I loved playing Alan Wake as well. I love the studio and I love the publisher and all the stuff they do. Bonk. <laughs> Oh. Work chat dead dog. Oh, I see a creepy teeth delivered delivery and re raised you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. It had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. I can't imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. She got to watch a parade of human teeth. Ugh. Okay, we got elevators. Where do they go? Transit corridor. Oh, the transit corridor is probably where I want to be. <laughs> I know the name of the IKEA shark is uh, Blahai, and some YouTuber called the Budahaji. And Japanese market page is Budohai. I don't know which is right. Well, I mean, the name is Danish, so it would be hard for most places to pronounce it. But it's called Blahai. Which is fun, because it uses a vowel that they don't have in English. Willow. Okay. A hollow sphere, vitrified soil, piece of various, uh, various sizes and colors, animal carcasses, rusted metal bucket, leather wallet, aged shotgun cartridge. Huh. Levitation ammo efficiency. Like, there are so many levitation buffs, and I just... I don't know. I don't think I want to deal with it. That was... the wrong weapon for this kind of closeness. Dylan and I were both running candidates. I, I'm is glad you it? noticed, Jesse. Hmm. <laughs> As there's baddies about here. Hmm. Okay, getting low on ammo, so we might as well throw some rocks. Okay, yeah, there's a control point right up there. Okay. Jail. Uh, using the environment to fight really is ooh, quite supreme. Yes. Seize the control point. That is not the right button. Hmm. And uh, oh wait, uh, Alan Wake's connected to the same universe as this. It's more cool. I've super powered people's adventure. This game looks very cool. Maybe Alan and Jesse could be stronger than Avengers. They Honestly, at this point, Jesse probably is. We're going back home. Oh, going back home. Of course we But are. not yet. First, we're going to Central Executive. But yes, there are a lot of like case files and everything that reference Alan's making this. Uh because this is like an organization that deals with those weird events. That, that is a really boring outfit. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, it's not enough source. And then go back to... Panopticon. <laughs> Actually, I should play um the Alan Wake DLC at some point. I have it, and I didn't play it. It's not... I don't think it's strictly speaking a DLC, but... Yeah, I had a lot of fun with Alan Wake. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell. 69! <laughs> Get it? Langston, 69. it's the funny number, yes, but it means you're terrible at your job. You are so pitiful, Langston. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. <laughs> That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any? Oh yeah, it wasn't Langston who said that. It was the guard. Talked to the, the other guard. The fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. Uh huh. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. <laughs> He's just there to There's monitor. To and if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. Yes, errant girl. But nice, he didn't give me another three, See you later, four to deal with. I'll be here. Yeah, we could go and do the jukebox thing. Capabilities four. This is all my points on melee six. Oh yeah. The three basic trees. Quick switch. But yeah, the, the, the first three trees, done. And I also have my launch damage, so I don't really care about most things. <laughs> God, but yeah, if we're doing the... Jukebox, then I have to find it first. Because it's somewhere in Central Executive. We ran into it a while ago. I think it is, like... Around some corner somewhere. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Hmm. Two squads lost. Christ. It could be maybe down in the circuit of affairs? No, because then that would be the marked one. I just remember that it's like down some path somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that's also not easy when you put the other map on top of this map. Okay, tier 1. Challenging experience. Uh, expedition that grants rare challenges. Or rare rewards. Oh, expedition gear on tier 3. Mm -hmm. A map on a map. Where's the map layers? Hello, Fobo. Welcome in. And thanks for contributing to the karaoke challenge. But yeah, there, are, there isn't like a map tier thing, so it can be really hard to actually do stuff. Investigate and clear the four islands. Okay. Oh, and I have 24 minutes to do it. I remember doing this a bunch on my old playthrough. Um, also, thanks for the headpants. And I kind of struggled with this. Is control worth the time? Like, playing the game? Oh, fuck. I would absolutely say so. Mm -hmm. Like, you can blitz through it really quickly. If you're not willing to get stuck on side quests. Mm hmm. Whee. Okay, almost at the island this time. Cool. 
Cleanse the broadcasting plates. What is this? A destiny strike? Hmm. So where are the plates? Oh, there. There's probably something through here as well. These guys are the worst. It's a good thing they have become significantly weaker after all my upgrades. Oh. Plate found. <laughs> oh. Also, it's annoying, but my room is getting so warm. Okay. One plate done. So there's one up here, and there's one down there. Nice. Oh fuck, explodies. Ah! Uh huh. This was bad just because of the sheer amount of like dudes here and how bad my angles are. Out of energy now. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, this one's already done. Oh, I'm just standing here now. Ah, uh, it's a little bit of shame that some backrooms fan games use some SCP objects as characters of the game. But SCP and backrooms could be separate content. Maybe backroom could be next generation SCP type fan creation base. I guess SCP creators headquarters trying to see backroom. Invite you know, more views because cinematic uh, scientific plot kind of is very similar. Oh, SCP people back, uh, uh, room people could be rival. I mean, there's a lot of overlap. You know, people who like SCP are probably also going to be very into back rooms. And, like, no one owns them. You know, they're like, they're, they're open and free. So anyone can just make whatever they want, really. Like, SCP is slightly moderated. So, like, there are moderators that go in and, and like, make sure not everything comes through. But the idea is that anyone can sit down and write whatever it is they want. Which is both the greatest strength and weakness of both, really. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. Okay. I always forget to dash when I'm flying. It's much faster. the lost specimen data. Yeah, so I think this one is all about murder. Or something. Either that, or I legit have to find an object somewhere. That is data. Uh, I'm thinking ready over three hours per day, and some memes saying Europe getting very hot somewhere last year. When you hope you're rich enough to buy a room cooling machine. Haha. <laughs> I live in Scandinavia. We don't have cooling machines. We only have heaters. Yeah, in the new house, I'm gonna have like a cool, like, wall mounted thing that looks a bit like an air conditioner, but it's actually just a more modern radiator. What the hell is this specimen data? Hmm. Oh, it's here, probably, yeah. Squad Captain Lopez reporting on Expedition 17B. Hmm. At the formation now. Maybe? Usually, 
No distinction from the previous visit. Maybe not. Because it wouldn't be an audio log that just goes on for a while. Uh huh. Yeah, we had a, a pretty hot summer last time, and we're probably going to have a pretty hot summer this time. It's not like too terribly hot or anything yet, but my room is getting hot because I'm streaming in here. And I live in an attic. Okay. Where the hell is this data? Nah. Uh, I uh, can make any. Uh, can make any. Uh, wait. Can any make SCP? My dream of haunted baked bagel can be re uh, relived. <laughs> is it really this? No, it wouldn't be. In here with the light? No. I don't want 40 degrees again. It was so painful last summer. It was horrid. And honestly, I, I, I yeah, I'm just gonna be happy that I'm gonna be moving out of this attic for for the, like the summer. Uh. Hmm. Wait, glowy stuff down there? Here it is. Ah, uh -huh. it took pity on me and it started glowing. Oh, and then we got. Then we got the murder mission. Oh, with named agents too. Okay, indeed it was. How did Hugo take it? Hugo took it really well. Um, but he's also very good at just like napping. So a lot of the time, like he is just gonna go to the shade or whatever and take a nap. So many named enemies here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh well, I didn't watch screen carefully, but uh, look at all these big, huge maps. Very beautiful. of blue fog and distance of rocks. Of nature and... Set time. Oh, it's sunrise time, because uh, lighting going to be... Oh, sunset time and sunrise time, because lighting is going to be perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, one of the wonders of living far away from the equator is very long sunsets and sunrises. Okay, wait, that was one of three waves? There is no way I'm doing all four islands. That's wonderful, I have to still a bottle uh, for the water bowl so my dog can get water all the time. Hmm. I mean, it helps with Hugo because he's like a really small dog. Okay, so he can't he can't drink a ton, so we just fill up like an oversized water bowl, and then he's good. Okay, he's just a little baby dog. So much is going on. Okay, little baby doggo. He he is a little baby doggo. Okay, uh, the dark grayish blue area reminds me of a little limas too. When you play that in old days, right? Let's play it again because the game is a lot of mistake. Uh, moment, it's funny to see. I played both the limas one and two. Uh, and I I don't. I don't think I'll be playing them again. They they just don't they kind of don't have a lot of replayability to them. Hmm. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Ah. Taking hits. 
Let me uh, heal. There goes all my magic juice. Okay. Wait. The big man is gone. Did he um chase me up? Oh, he sure did. Stop. Stop. There we go. So, apparently headshots can damage him even through the shield, which is pretty nice. Ah! I can't see anything. Too many particle effects everywhere. Okay, return to the formation. Ah. Cool. I hope the other two ones are going to be much faster. The roof of A is not so high in all that mess is because the secret's already revealed. Yeah. Like, it, already, like, puzzle games it do not have a whole lot of replayability because the, the challenge and the interest is in figuring out the puzzle. And spooky games as well because... There's a limit to how spooked you can get before it gets boring, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Just keep on running. Okay, so what's this one going to be all about? Biometric logs from dead rangers. Yes, I have to run around and find the dead rangers. I hear a sound. Does that mean there's a ranger nearby? Oh, here. Ah. What? There we go. Okay. That really depends on frustration. The more frustrated you are in the horror game, the less scared you are. Well, that's both like, yeah. Uh, frustration. And also, like, powerlessness. Hmm. And, like, Little Nightmares 2 especially gave you so many ways to, like, fight back against the spooky stuff. And I'm a big enemy of, of letting the player fight back in a horror game. It's the same reason that I'm not a fan of, like, the last half of Resident Evil Village. I, I need- I, I need me some powerlessness to feel properly pressured. Hmm. Nearby. There it is. Ah! Come on, Jesse, just do it. I'm gonna get interrupted. Yeah. Oh, and I died. Okay. Best horror game would be got killed caught and starts uninstalling a random Steam game. Or it starts like showing random files from your computer on stream. Hello, Splectical. Yes, you can ask a weird question. Absolutely. And welcome in. Okay. I probably have to redo this island all over again. With the drink. Yes, I will drink. Uh, okay. Oh shit, the islands aren't here yet. Oh, okay, it's perfect. Uh, have you, like, put donuts on your horns to save them? <laughs> you know what? I haven't, but I'm going to do that from now on. That is brilliant. Can I ask a weird question too? Yes, Wupu. Yes, you can. Okay. Or oh, bagels. I'm more of a donut person. Um... 
But, like, bagels are a nice shape of bread. There are so many explodies. Hmm. Ah! Okay. Oh, that's not a regular explodey. Okay. Oh, it wasn't even an explodey at all. Oh, you guys weren't here a second ago. What? Okay. Oh, well, uh, you're a sweet person. Didn't make sense. It, uh... Ah! Is my, fa my favorite donut? Honestly, I haven't had a donut in... Literally years. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, it's hard to get a good gluten-free donut. Oh shit, it's down below, yeah. Wait, it's not down below. Fuck, I let myself get trapped. Oh, it's back here. Okay. Just anything that the whole mind to do is donuts. As it should be. There we go. Now hurry and fight back. Ah! Okay. That's another guy somewhere nearby here. He's here. Hurry and get him. Okay. Uh, what, what color is my streaming outfit? It's gray today. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, just... Let me return to the formation, please. Just... And then I fall from... Then I die from fall damage. <laughs> I... Huh? It's probably gonna ask me to redo the island because I didn't return to the formation. No, okay. Does mean we only have seven and a half minutes to do the final island. That is, uh, easy. Totally. Okay. Okay, I looked it up. You can fry canned biscuits, and it does like uh, donuts. They're also gluten free. I mean, some biscuits are gluten free, but not all of them. But also, like, what I like is the the breadiness and like a good. Oh, it's not something to break. Um, and like a good f jam filling. And it's just like, yeah, the the, the, the breadiness is hard. E even like a lot of gluten-free bread doesn't feel or taste like real bread. Hmm. Oh shit, I missed that one. No, get the corrupt material. Yes, thank you. Okay, and then I can steal their health. One more his corrupted bit somewhere. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, it does have a lot of sugar and cooking oils, and it makes really beautiful skin looks boiled egg. I consume plenty of oils. Huh. Is that just back to the incinerator? Okay, the breadiness. I'm off with the icing. The icing's also good. <laughs> I could give the donuts a, a rabies jam shot. Rabies? I mean, I'm all for giving donuts rabies, but what? <laughs> Found ya. Okay. Now we just have to make it back to the incinerator. Turn to the formation. Heck yeah. Uh, don't need that kind of high calorie foods when you don't forget your most uh, popular fashion model in Denmark. Every teen is dreaming about you every day. I am not a fashion model in the slightest. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, so there's like a boss fight here now, isn't there? Yes, there is. Distorted tourist. Oh yeah, it's one of these guys. They don't like it when you hit them when they're invisible. Hmm. If I just keep hitting them enough, they'll just stay visible and I can shoot them easier. Okay. Yes. And my reward is something wildly unimportant. I just did it for the mission, really. Region time 20. I don't, yeah, I don't think this is anything I really care about. Uh, I like the idea that Danish people pray to satanic demon woman. <laughs> I'm sure a lot do. We do, but our bread never gets blessed. No. Guess the song ended. Hmm. Good timing. Okay, yes. Mission complete. Uh, and also, yes. Yeah, I got nothing of actual value. Let's get rid of everything that's level two or three. Hmm. And also, I guess duplicates are level four. Hmm. Wait, I already have launch energy cost, so I don't need this one. And as for these, oh yeah, I need to I need to clear out because I'm getting full. Let's see, someone's getting from headshots. I do not really care. Is it level two? Ah. Uh, yeah. Damage while on health. Oh, that one looks so cool, but I don't want to use it. Accuracy boost, nah. It's level three. Let's get rid of a bunch of level threes. I'm just gonna be like slowly. Everything I have is just gonna get slowly better and better because of space constraints. And it's just gonna be level fives at the end or something crazy. Let's see for shatter. Do we have. There's a recoil thing, but that. Nah, that sucks. More projectiles fired is probably cooler than projectiles spread. To be fair. But I want to upgrade my guns. I just can't. Because I don't have the money for it. I can upgrade charge now though. Yeah. The final mod slot. Now it's all my money. But it does let me put another mod on charge. Uh... Even more projectile speed. I mean, honestly, let's put damage while low on health on. That way, charge is gonna be fucking murderous when I'm dying. Perish. There you are. Uh, I have literally no idea what my you, uh, best view. Uh, you Whitney Boss's IRL account, Whitney Boss Place. Posting says stop becoming Whitney's big fan. So our last year, are you hiding from me? No. Cosplay is just really expensive, well, and I'm really bad at making stuff myself. You know, I hmm. just come at the formation. It's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all hmm. the junk from the bureau lying around. Yeah, so since you're a demon, did you get the access from being summoned in that country? I mean, a lot well, demons have access to the internet. Uh, so to demons with accents are actually just like nerds who just watch too much YouTube. You might even find some useful stuff That's how I got my accent. All I know is we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. <laughs> uh huh. A simple one. Mm -hmm. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is. Simple. By the way, you ever got tummy farts? Oh, you know, when another that person put the mouth in your tummy, just blow. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Blake Tickle. Also, I mean, I do love your name. It's wonderful. Uh, I hope you enjoy it here. And yes, Fobo, I have gotten that when I was like a kid, a mini, mini Windy. I have to go. My dad would do it all the time. Weird.
but also cute. But did he give me a mission? He did not. He just talked to me a bunch. Yeah, if I use charge, I can get a tier five personal mod, which is have to kill stuff in the executive sector. We're gonna get through this. Hmm. <laughs> I can listen to you all day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Prepare thou tell me no. Ah. So this is yeah. This is out of the safe area. Oh, we now open this door. Okay. Agent death notification. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that I, uh, that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty last week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in service for his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against our enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. Aw, that's kind of bad. Okay. A uh, seize accelerator. Come on, enemies. I need to kill a bunch of you. I have the weapon. Okay, I'm hearing you whispering. Yeah, they're not spawning at me? This is taking me back to central. Yeah, this is a safe area. Uh huh. Why why are the voices so clear if they aren't gonna spawn on me? Uh huh. Strange. I don't think if I'm watching Cartoon Network, Avenger Time, Steven Universe is my best English teacher. I mean honestly, yeah. Um Like entertainment can be such a good teacher. Well, I guess no enemies want to spawn here, so let's just run back to Central Executive and do the quest. Hmm. Actually, maybe, yeah, maybe the Pope has something to say to us. She does. How are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. I'm fine. What can you tell me? Is he still? Hissed? Human? Or is oh. he his? I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. Uh -huh. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. So instead of all being, like, all inside him, it's just like... like you, maybe Polaris is preventing mm -hmm. total his takeover. Yeah. Or maybe this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state mm -hmm. post-corruption, as well yeah, as... Yeah, it's probably more of a symbiotic thing rather than a parasitic thing. But again, this is new territory yeah. for me. Oh, passion could be a good teacher. Time. Passion is the best teacher. Have it. I'm going to shut down the slide projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Mm -hmm. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. The, but that than what Dylan is now. Yes, every his corrupted I'm individual sure dead. But what it's happens happened. if we try to purify them now? What they also happens? just die. It happens. It better to just take it out now before they infect more. Let me know how I can help. Thank you. And well, then if we find out we could have done something later down the line. Well, I mean, as director, I can just say it's your fault and have you fired instead of me. The power of being in charge. You fast travel. We're going to the turntable. Oh, that's the sealed threshold. So wait. Oh, yeah, I was in the transit corridor. Yeah. It's important. It's so the map is annoying, but hmm. I need to pay attention to the color of the map. There are three, there are usually three levels on each map. The darkest is the bottom. 
the the brightest at the top, and whatever's in the middle is in the middle. And there is no way to scroll between them. Ah. But yes. Time to enter the turntable. Access the ordinary AWE area by rotating the turntable tracks. After dealing with a bunch of dudes, of course. Ooh. No. You do not get to throw stuff at me. That was the wrong one I hit. But it's fine, they died. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Oh no, they got the meatballs here! No! Control panel nearby. Why is there a meatball? Tier 4 health boost, nice. I think... Uh... One of the sides... Oh. Bridge operator. I'll definitely be down there. Hmm. That's one of the nice things about having is this be supposedly like a real organization, is that... Things are more or less labeled and written. In a, in a very human-friendly way. Work chat teeth. Yes, we just had to inspect an invent delivery of like 100 teensy tiny little boxes. Me, that's who. And you know what it was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. That would be horrible. How did I just... Oh, okay. I think childhood English pros are very strong, powerful people in school, but now I can speak English better than any oh, translate writers in Japan, so English travels, Japanese 70% of adults don't know meaning of, I don't know, for real, Lamao, right now. I mean... Like, acronyms are always hard. And not just for old people. Sometimes it's young people who just aren't hip with the current trends. Like, I don't keep up to date with trends and stuff. I have no idea what stuff means until like an, a month too late. I want to see what's on the other sides. A1 and 2. And the turntable operator room is open now. From this side. Was oh, that a giant fire break? Uh huh. I'm going to check out the side room and make sure no robbers coming towards my absolute peaceful life. I'll be back a few minutes later. Good luck. Don't get robbed. The fucking trends. I don't know either. Sounds like some made up stuff. Oh! I was not prepared to break that railing. Now what's down here? Is there a reason I should be down here? Oh shit. It's somewhere in there, yes! Gotcha. No angels on my watch. Oh, there's a box in there. There's also something in here. Ah, Luke. If Japanese out can speak, I got to bro. When you question at someone, it's a very rare lucky thing. Oh wait. That that there isn't a path. Eh? Why do I get in there then? Yeah, that's just a wall. I mean, there is something in there. Huh. Well, I guess that'll stay a mystery. Okay. But yeah, like, a lot of old people don't speak English because, I mean, they're old. 
They, they lived in a world where English wasn't as necessary. Hmm. Or as prevalent. I mean, it's something like Germany. Where, like, a lot of Germans can't speak English very well. But it's pre predominantly the old ones. Like, the young ones speak awesome English. Oh, my power cube. Hmm. <laughs> been a special and actually a uh, goal. I mean, Bernard is special, but he's also not Japanese. <laughs> All the ordinary AWEs through this elevator. Hmm. Wait, what am I doing then? If this isn't the path to the ordinary stuff, am I just doing something that's not relevant right now? Huh. Okay, uh, the more fun uh, is to translate it rough in your language for the longest time because my IRL mates for uh, bridge since that's bro and Danish. <laughs> what do you mean old? Did you know uh, the ice is melting on the poles? What? What does that have to do with anything? Hmm. <laughs> Pain elevators. Max weight 20 persons? Wow. Fully the legend. Oh, it's, it's about. Yeah, I think I get it now. It's uh, the 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 politician guy who was not great. <laughs> Hello, fabled. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing today? Mm -hmm. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, there's no loot here. Give me loot. I wanna wait. I was a place like this, some other place, but it was all red and stuff. Huh. Hmm. It's the airplane evacuation order. Wait, that was the airplane they brought in. It's an altered item. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Blank, Cincinnati. It's suspected to uh, be connected to the Blank AWE. See case file Blank for details. And it's being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector. Brought here through the New York subway tunnel. Special access blank for more information on tunnel blank and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and blank. See file 412-4521. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for blank blank. And initial readings have been taken by a research team. No alter status has yet been detected. Okay, so... They haven't found anything weird in the plane yet. I mean, that's good. Altered planes sound scary. Oh, there's just a dude here. Oh, come on. There we go. On our AWE stage 1A, dump witness testimonies. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There are lots of dolls. BF. Bill and Faden. Interview 2002. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Je Jesse Faden's therapy session, 2010. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Note, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Uh, Tom, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddy, note, likely Freddy Bartwell, missing. Hugo, known by his name, was found in the public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. Uh huh. Okay. Chill today. Nice. Clearing legendary Lost Vegas and Destiny 2 at the moment. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like. It's kind of fun. Occasionally to just randomly run into Lost Sectors. 
Yeah, I can't do any of the high difficulty ones because I'm too much of a scrub so far. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, mm -hmm. a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective mm -hmm. unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular uh -huh. culture, urban legends. I do love that. The recording actually shows up on Jesse's skin. Okay. This is about playing a tad more careful. Well, it's also because the, um, what was that? In the last update, they moved, like, the, the extra difficulties for Lost Sectors up. So like level, What's the cause? like the tier what seven, eight stuff. Are we the starting point or just a yeah. Necessary evil in this, a byproduct, a reflection. A uh, I'm only like tier, still tier six because I don't, I don't have the new like. The, answers to these hard questions. Uh, the current DLC. Or die try. So hehe, <laughs> I can't do most of the like tier seven requirements. Hmm. <laughs> Order AWE stage 4A, town proper. Uh, yeah, 1830 for light levels at least. Ooh, ICAC. Yeah, I think for light level, I, I, I'm at 1778 or something right now with the, with the artifact. Okay, um, I think guiding levels aren't locked behind the DLC. No, but, like, the, the special... Like things you do that give you the XP. Yeah, take me out. Yeah, so many of them are like locked behind. Uh, the current quests and the helm stuff and yeah. Hey, Jesse, me follow the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed a projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me. But the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog. Like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy. Because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. What the fuck? The projector wouldn't turn off. So we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. I extrapolate information, additional slide, designation hand, SID 36, is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation dog meal, EID 19930. Dog meal, wow. So, uh-huh. Whatever was, I became one with a box, okay. So whatever was behind the slide projector had the power to Melt a kid into a dog. What the hell? That sounds like a fun party trick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, stage two. Sled Hill Cave. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They'd be using the temple slide. We called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her babies, the children, uh, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monkey monsters. We call them the Dung Monkeys. So that's where the Dung Monkeys are. Okay, so the Not Mother is what was changing them. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide, designation Temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation Not Mother. EID 1992-8. Uh huh. Um, worrisome? Annual evaluation of Dune Aiden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Oh, so he actually got demoted from P6 status. I told I'm a dog, because my partner tells me that! <laughs> what? 
Hmm. I mean, have you asked her when, uh, uh, when they're buying your collar then? This game looks interesting. Uh, how are you enjoying it? Oh, I love it. It's actually my, my second time playing it. Um, but the first time I played it through, I, I skipped a lot of like the reading and the lore stuff. So I'm having a lot more fun now. Like the world building is so impressive and like cool and the game is fun. I don't give her ideas because I totally wear a color. <laughs> Honestly, Moon. Uh, I already do when I have my headbands. I just put it around my neck when I want, want my hair down. Hell yeah. Why, why, why is she asking about what day is it if he doesn't have a calendar? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need. Oh. Well. Yeah, we already knew Dylan had some anger issues. Okay, astral constructs. No, nothing. Okay. Goodbye, painting. I do love that the paintings turn into paper when you shoot them. Let's see. Uh, delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. That's rude. Okay. A lot of fucks to give. Wait, they... They plastic wrapped these cupboards. Why? Ooh, ordinary stage 4B. So we had 4A... Which was when they met Polaris and for B. We went in and met Polaris like a star. She told you a special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn. The world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the knot mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them, all except hand. Okay, unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation Polaris. Yeah, we know Polaris exists. Because that's our guide in-game. Ooh, 1B. Okay, so after the first one, the second slide we called Meadow. But it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. Then, when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Oh. Neil was really into it. He found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. He thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide. But that's not what happened. Oh. Is there going to be a 1C? I need to figure out what happened when they changed the slide. Hmm. What's I need? Stage 3. I am very intrigued in the ordinary AWE. Let's see what they have on ordinary. Hmm. We have... It's a town. Oh, here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Did they really need to recreate our little shitty town? Stage four. Oh, I see. So that's what they mean by the stages. Can I, like, 
I can't climb up. Yeah, stage one, dump. Stage two, the forest. Stage three, the town. And I guess stage four, town proper or something? <gasps> the houses are destructible. Legit. This, this game gets full points for destructible environments. That is so fucking cool. Okay. Wait, there's a control point nearby. Oh, it's on the other side of the wall. Okay. There is something I must do. Charge. Uh, become Pierce. Let's see. Um, this way, yeah. Yup. It went straight through all of them. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. It's just so... complete. I think that's part of why I like it so much. It's just so... Like, they didn't chicken out on any part of it. Okay, stage 3 doesn't have any A's or B's. Uh, tell me the others have gotten worse. Scarier. The math teacher, Mrs. Chester, tried to make them listen, and they pushed it over a piano on her. Broke her legs. Then Tom bashed her head in. And bye bye, Mrs. Chester. I always liked her. I liked maths. From Dylan. Now, that was a tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. The grown ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the Nut Mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in ordinary. Mum and Dad were pissed, asking us about the dump. About everything. I remember wanting them gone, like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just... vanished. Was I responsible? Did I... I don't know. The disappearance of a majority of ordinary population confirmed a result from slide projector related to the AWE. Uh-huh. So, yeah. I must lurk, have fun, enjoy your lurk, and thank you. <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> oh. Of course we'd get combat here. Achoo. Oh, we got, we got some named guys as well. What? Oh, my dash can, yeah. Of course my dash can, like, break through stuff. Okay, so, what is it? Deputy Operative, ID 093. <laughs> the best way to fight is just to keep throwing the grenades back. They recreate our little dump. That seems excessive. So I want to see. Yeah, I don't think there are any like super cool upgrades here. There's a new health thing. We already have a red one. So I don't need it. Or any of these. Let's see. Yeah, we already have a red one of this one as well. Any new ones of these? This is damage 37. This is... Wait. This is still a rare, but it's 43. That is such an upgrade. Wow. Let's put it on. Yes, yeah, so this, like, my grip is just all about the damage. 63% extra headshot damage. 43% just damage plain. And after it kills someone, it's a 55% increase in damage. This thing is just... made to slay. Mm hmm. We've got an audio file. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. A poem? 
by Thomas Zane. By yes. Thomas Zane? Oh, it's for Jesse. The shadow you settle for. There's a miracle. Of Believe course, Zane would talk about shadows and light. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. Oh. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? Mm. I don't know, matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. Wait. You've said a few times. What if like there's a piece of you missing? Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um it's this I feel an emptiness. A yearning for something that What if Jesse is the one that doesn't belong in this timeline? Natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. Huh. Are you referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Her office. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling mm -hmm. In a dream I saw, she she showed me things. Okay. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. But yet yeah, Dylan had a, what happened to mentioned a dream the where they they were one person, Jesse Dylan Faden. But now no, Jesse knows Thomas Zane, which he's not supposed to. Oh, what? Oh, kind of does a I'll jump, I guess. I won't stop looking. Oh. You know what? I never figured I could just punch out panes of glass. <laughs> Even the edge of, like, the door frame. I mean, it's not like a door door, I guess, but still. And this is, yeah, this isn't breakable glass. Hmm. Dodge efficiency. That would be cool. Oh, I'm in a box again. Okay, more ordinary supplement. Um, Dean's house are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, DF claims uh, there were eight slides for the projector. JF mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be in use for the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Note, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Uh huh. So yeah, Dr. Darling had the entirety of the dump brought into this place. Wow. It even has that yellowy dump atmosphere. Landfill here in the middle of New York. Yeah. Nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Hmm. Dump cessation of work order. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the blank department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects uh, before that time. <sighs> Any photographic slides that you know, the type used in sign projectors found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. I wish this had a date on it. Like, when did it close? When was it sealed? Was it recently? Is it this month? Hmm. And why? Is it because of the hiss? Is it because of Polaris? The not mother? 
Uh, some Globe stuff. Uh, the Globe supplement. I was found in Penthouse Suite, Toronto, belonged to David Wolf. Was investigated for illegally dealing with ultimate materials. Bureau of agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including blank, blank in this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Mm hmm. So why would a 36 year old Bay Street investment trader, uh, feel the rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's a question that's kept Toronto high uh, society up at night the, last, the past week. Police says it's being locked into some notch up radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But, uh, it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties while the world thinks he's dead. I mean, if I was filthy or rich, that's probably what I would do. Just disappear. Make everything officially no longer my problem. And now combat has started and I'm like this far up. <laughs> they can't even really hit me here. Oh, yeah, and... <sighs> These guys have like really shitty pathfinding. So they're just going to be stuck underneath me instead of actually going up the stairs. If I'm quick. Oh yeah, because they're trying to float upwards. Okay. There we go. Get, get everything and everyone. Ooh, an officer. Senior officer. Hmm. I need him to stop running though. It's hard to hit something that can flee. I wonder if that's exactly what this hole is for. Okay, and we have chair dudes. Chair dudes is not as intimidating as they might have used to be. Okay, let's run over to the... Oh, this one's got... He's like a lot smaller. There we go. Search Dr. Darling's lab for the slide projector. Oh, nice zoo, nice zoo. This hole is meant for your hands, your size. No! Not Amagara fault all over again. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I love that short story. It was interesting. Oh? Oh, I can just open the door. Oh, and it's here. Oh, okay. Now I guess we have a shortcut here. Huh. I take it you've read in two football. Hmm. Here's zoom boost and tropic echo. I do not care about zoom boost. Mobile lab. Uh huh. Okay, only the computer. Mm hmm. No, I'm just not. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I'm setting up a new department. Mm -hmm. It's Do quite interesting. Research in the research sector, huh? transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to. I, I don't know when. The subs are very delayed here. Don uh -huh. took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. Uh -huh. Next. Dimensional research. Hotline descent. The mission finished. Tango. Huh. And a dark place. 
<gasps> We're going to the ashtray maze. Yeah. I love the ashtray maze. Also, it's definitely going to get muted on the VOD. But that's just how powerful the ashtray maze is. So what's the dark place? The sector elevator. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Just make check to make sure that no one's hiding any missable lore back here. <laughs> but actually, I had an idea. I need to look at this. Um, altered world events. No? Altered items. No, because it's in records and research. When was... Yeah, one beat and we lose Neil. Stage two. Do we have anything about Neil? Tom and his troglodytes. Number three. There's Mrs. Chester and Tom. Nothing about Neil. 4A. Yeah. I see. Yes, it makes sense. I was wondering why why Neil was melted into a dog. But no, I totally get it. Because he was lost inside the meadow. Hmm. And the meadow melts things. We have a, yeah, we have a control point right here, I think. Right? Yeah, we do. Ah. <sighs> Build these three. Ah, what to put my points in? I could learn how to yeet people. I could learn how to fly for longer. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I probably I'm gonna I'm gonna yeet people. Achievement unlocked the face of the enemy. Oh wait, no. Wait, that's for completing mission seven. Why did I get that now? What? Okay, but central executive. We have an elevator to find. Oh yeah, and I need to check if I can upgrade my guns. Astral constructs. I cannot. Need more money and ritual impulses. It is mostly PS I want to upgrade. Hmm. <laughs> Executive. I right, investigate the sector elevator. I also want to. Oh, it's wake. It's a dark place. Of course, it's wake. Is this part of the DLC then? Should I do this now then? We should check this out. Uh-huh. Like I I guess I might as well. Yup, I see. Cause yeah, when I played this before, it was on uh the Xbox Game Pass and I didn't have any of the DLC. But now it's on Steam, so I have all the DLC. Investigation sector. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I I love to see a little bit of Alan Wake in here. Oh, this sure is a dark place. Oh, and it just gets darker. Uh huh. Oh, so it's just, it's so warm. Oh, okay, the lights are on. <sighs> Anyone here? Guess not. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I am real quick gonna um wait. Gonna get up from my chair. Gonna get rid of that. No, not putting putting on BRB or anything. Just gonna go turn on the fan and open my window more. <sighs> 
like, it's not just off. Oh, the air is like suffocating. You know what? Yeah, might as well open the other window too. Oh. There we go. Tracking didn't even break while I wasn't here. Okay. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Crowded? I mean, I guess it's messy. Oh. Okay. Darling investigation. All? Official findings report. Read Dr. Casper Darling. Internal. Confidential. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigator, D. Oh, 845 uh, was <laughs> was launched into the ethical uh, practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the account of anonymous blank regarding inhumane treatment of a blank currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of blank sector uh, personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such blank contained there. One blank confirmed the blank's code name to be blank, but all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the blank, our research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into blank research. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the part of the Bureau that deals with... I mean, it's like HR, but for... Science crimes. Case inquiry. Mr. Dennis. Uh, a request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls. Specifically on the disappearance of the author, Alan Wake. Per the interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. Uh, but I'm uh, writing to let you know that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hardboiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character uh, Wake wrote is looking into a case detailing a writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into. What's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start a surveillance on this guy. Special Investigator Gleason. Huh. Okay. So yeah. Wake's stuff kept coming true, even after he was confined. Mr. Kirkland, here are the latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead, uh, from the containment breach yesterday. Jonathan Connor, Ezra Cruz, Carolyn Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray, and Derek Shaw. Letters of condolences will be delivered to you, uh, to sign prior to sending them to their families. You will be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally, Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and only the hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. Oh. So they lost a lot of files here. What is... There we go, just, just charge through. Uh-huh. Keystone inspection. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWE, like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you, to try and keep a lid on this groom and morales desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them there here. Given their records, it's possible they switched teams, like you suspected. But I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think groom and morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case. But that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an altered world event, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in a shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys I'm working on a cover story. Silly Agent Keenum. Aha. Uh -huh. A bit like the threshold remnant. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I said a dot, not a line, but still. 
If an altered world event took place... Thank you, truck. Then there would probably be remnants like that around. On Polaris telling me to go down there. Tractor procedures. Item is not in Bureau custody. None known. A Frank Elk tractor. Olive green dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Is it highly aggressive and dangerous? A living tractor. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burra, owner of Burra Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on the scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burra beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panic calls to the federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau communications staff. The team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents uh, approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial search of the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Burrow, only revealed that she had domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. Huh. Interesting. An ethics investigation. Ooh, ethics. The prime candidate program, of course it is. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation P1429 was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program. Uh, by, by Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little first-hand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systemic blank and blank. Blank were brought into the oldest house and placed under blank examination, and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. Oh, so it's all kids. Uh, this program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic blank of paranaturally inclined blank. Not only is this a breach of the Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human blank. This investigation team unequivocally blank the prime candidate program and recommends that it be blank immediately. Refer to file 982-0136 before report. I actually like this a lot. Also, I should turn this power thing on. Hello, Astrid. Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? Oh, I need to turn the power thing on to get in there. Ah. Or attract a supplement. Mm hmm. This communication led to local coroner and examined the body of an Umbera. Okay. 33 year old man found dead on his property, per police report. Uh, remains obtained for coroner's office also included blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Ugh. Blunt force injuries head, lacerations left ear cheek, blunt force injuries extremities, dislocation right knee, complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal right humerus, extensive trauma abdominal region, complete avulsion of multiple organs including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine, all missing from the scene. Conclusion, it's my opinion that Mr. Borrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Wait, so the tractor is an animal? The tractor's alive. Like, properly. Resignation letter. Oh, hello, hello. How are you doing today, Astrid? Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it was great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigation to the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears. So I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame the situation on our blank. We have routinely ignore my requests for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the blank loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that firebreak. I'll carry that shame for the rest of my days. A blank has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. Oh. So Kirkland resigned. Hmm. <laughs> Bernard's 100% pure race Japanese. <laughs> He's not, though. <laughs> Hmm. I'll make sure to, to let him know you think he's fully Japanese next time I see him. <laughs> hmm. Uh, going good. Had a chuck worthy migraine last night, but at least I'm better now. I'm glad you're better now, yeah. <laughs> it's never fun with having bad migraines. Uh, brr, just running through that. Oh. Okay, so there should be a, a power cube somewhere nearby. Oh, Cauldron Lake update! So Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for the blank. 
could be raccoons, the locals certainly complain about them enough. But why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the, uh, to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Reservation Station, a research station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Blank Lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this blank hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might investigate some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Uh-huh. So, yeah, they keep... ...things about Bright Falls confidential, even many years after the event. Uh, findings report, Dr. Rare Underhill. Mm, hmm. A parabotanist. Wait, she has no known connection to the paracriminal organizations. Huh. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so it's because Dr. Darling was recommending Underhill work on the mold. Hmm. I do actually like this. Uh, and I think, yeah, they're doing it in a way that's very fitting for a DLC. Where they're mentioning a lot of the characters from the actual story. Re blank. Okay. Oh, an investigation into the Zachariah Trench. Just saying he's a bit sus, basically. And he's still fit to be leader. Trench official warning. Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. Now, what do you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sectors exist for a reason. The better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You're a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidate Program only failed because of Darling. You're both failures, plotting against me. You're traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You're choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Oh. Okay, then. Mr. Trench might be, um... A little less uh, sane than I was thinking. So wait, do we just need to take this? Okay. I was thinking I shouldn't unplug this. Because, I don't know, it surely powers something. It goes just to that light. Uh-huh. Well... Hmm. Specimen escape assessment. Okay. Can tell the containment failure of the specimen S L uh, S L one or S I one, whatever. Okay. A civilian named Alice Black entered the sector. Oh. Okay. I got nice Jeff comes to the stream. Uh, his own business with English and six foot because he's pro and smart. If you get best with a very cool YouTuber, I can't believe he both of the exact same cultural plan society and the uh, exact same education program. Did I miss something? Well, we'd never know because it's the difference of us. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And good morning, uh, to my cat. <laughs> How are you doing today? Okay. I still can't afford anything. Okay. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Yeah. Something's definitely been happening here. A quick comment going back to my tech shooter game and shoot tanks and imagining something. Good luck. Shoot all the people. Expenditure stuff. Uh huh. Expenditure summary major staffing surveillance blank data center initiative construction blank blank. 
Office equipment, janitorial costs, blank mold removal, HQ livability costs. Uh huh. Okay. Boop. Boop. Do we know Ball? each other? Wait, is Alan with me? Feel... This feels familiar. I can't seem to. I... I've forgotten. I... I'm sorry. Alan. I'm. My name is Alan Wake. This is a lot of flashing images. There are two of him now. Who are you? Honestly, I kind of wanted to play like the the remake of Alan Wake just for the improved graphics, but Who like the old one was Do cheaper. You I'm your friend Tom. Tom oh? Zane. Oh, Tom Zane took Alan's face. To worry about. Tom. I guess because he doesn't have one himself oh. anymore. The diver, you look different. That was just a, a role, a character. The protagonist I played in my my old film. Uh huh. I'm a filmmaker. No terror like yourself. I did a lot of work this morning. It's time to rest for me. How are you, beautiful people? We're nice. Together, Enjoy your rest. I'm pretty good. An artistic collaboration. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really hot here though, which is an issue. You need a drink. <gasps> Night springs. Was wait, darling. Government sponsored vandalism. Hello, Star Soldier. Good evening, I think, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it Alan Wake? Um, it's it's the Alan Wake DLC in control. It's it, this is Alan, yeah. Darkness. Nothing holds still. We're very close now. You've been writing. And Tom Zane. Found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Writing. You found a way. No. I, uh huh. I don't. Huh. It's my dog. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. Uh huh. Fine, it's seven a.m. Oh, it's a good morning then. You've met him. What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Uh huh. And she was just watching that, like, what the fuck? That was Alan mm. Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. I was, you haven't slept yet? What's he doing here? Well... <laughs> nice, <laughs> I guess. The uh, have you been enjoying your night? Oh, wait, the, the, he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. No, 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 Thomas Zane was not a filmmaker. He was, he was an author, a poet, and it wasn't until he got stuck with the darkness that he rewrote himself to be a filmmaker. So, I guess he is a filmmaker and not a poet anymore. But why does Jesse know him as a poet? Okay. Oh, there was that reflection. I'll last until 8 p.m. So I guess I might as well work on fixing that schedule now. Ah, I see. It can always be a bit of a hassle trying to fix a broken sleep schedule. Mm hmm. I've been trying to fix mine, which just re results in me getting less sleep than I otherwise would have. Huh. Oh, all the doors. Crushed grass, do you see it, everyone? It was very impressive modeling. <laughs> crushed grass? That wasn't any crushed grass. Oh, that is loud. Do you... Uh huh. So I can, I can turn them off. Can't do anything else in these rooms. My sleep schedule is whatever it wants to be, whenever. 
Uh-huh. Wait, am I not just making darkness at this point? Wait, something won't tink. Oh. Oh, the key. Oh, and the light went out. Uh-huh. But lately, in, instead of instead of getting a good sleep, I've just been reading Chainsaw Man. <sighs> Honestly, it's worth it, but I should also get sleep. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, so another difference between graphic cards. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I see. Hmm. And you go sleep, please. I really enjoy seeing you. Uh, Aaron uh, collabs at morning of Tokyo, but when you sleep is important for regenerate body cells, you need it for some reason, right? I mean, sleep is important, yeah. But. Chainsaw Man. No, it's just that I'm not tired, and so. I can lie down and do nothing for uh, hours and hours, or I can. Uh read some stuff to be productive and also get more tired. Fuck. There's a meatball down there. Wait. Do I... Do I... This fire breaks broke. Do I have to go down to the meatball? Oh, please don't. Hmm. I guess I have to go to the yellow one, maybe. All the way down there. Yeah, this one doesn't open. Uh huh. Well, this one sure does. That yellow top is very Alan Wake. Investigation sector. Abandoned. Uh huh. Why did Wake want me to come here? Yeah, I don't know. Are we dealing with his double or whatever it is he was talking about? I do love how all the metal detectors say no, please. Like, no, you have metal. Please don't. Buying processing operation center. What? What is that? I'm so into this. Your bathroom. <gasps> Finally bathroom loot again. Shaded facet. Is that a new material? That doesn't look Oh, everything is shift. This this is starting to remind me of Vampire the Masquerade, because there was a bug that made this happen everywhere. Everything became letterboxes. Or like, um, not letterboxes, but like the, um, the letterbox, like, hole. Hmm. Yeah, let's get this control point. Is this gonna stop things from floating? No. Why would it? It didn't, even, it didn't even fix all the cubes everywhere. So what is this area? Oh, yeah, it's just abandoned offices, okay. Oh, this is a big zone. Hmm. I would need not sleep right now. I wanna sleep with my best, most awesome streamer screaming at scary monsters. It's a very fantastic moment of my life. This is my start of season two, I didn't read that good. Oh, no, it's not a season two, I'm just reading the manga. The anime, like season one of the anime, only just finished. Oh, we got enemies incoming. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but I'm 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 excited for what the the second season is gonna bring. Hmm. 
because, yes, yeah, season one is only like a couple volumes. are in here. What else would they be doing? If not complete domination of our offices. Hartman arrest. Hartman Emil. Oh, okay. Wait, victim names. Wake Allen, Anderson Tor, Anderson Odin, blank. R Lane Rudolph. This is all Wendy, Emerson Thomas. Okay. Kidnapping of all individuals, sanctions against alter uh, organizations, Obstruction of Bureau Investigation, uh, Breach of the Ash Act. Offenders probably cease as evidence uh, to be used in conjunction with the ongoing AWE investigation. Offenders' personal uh, effects have been sent to research for analysis. Effect being cleared by Bureau researchers, all victims have been released. By annual surveillance of orders were assigned to each, except for the Anderson brothers, due to the senility. And awake, possibly deceased. Ah. I see. Yeah, this, didn't, this game is just an amount of beautiful map and satisfying action. Why didn't I know this before? No way. That's part of the thing about this. It's like from a pretty, uh, yeah, a, a, a relatively like small studio. So lots of people just don't know how wonderful it is. I guess I need need to be able to move large objects to get in here. I do only see treasure though and not loot. Or like not lore. So it's alright, I suppose. It's been years since uh I don't watch anime. Uh manga I've been reading from time to time. Mm. Foot gossip. My feet gossip at night and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely me. Yeah, like everyone has their own uh Preferred sources of entertainment. Hmm. Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten okay. a little wild in here. Yeah. The house is, uh. Wait. Can I not? Pass through? No, it's just not where I'm supposed to be going. Oh! I see it opened up a new path. And I, I hate how laggy the map is at times. Ah, yes, the service tunnel. This darkness is blocking the door, so now I have I to get to. I get to do light stuff. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. Okay, that's progress, though. I don't want. I, won't, I don't want to do that yet. Okay, there's nothing in here. Yeah, I'm bringing the light. <gasps> if I got the fully upgraded telekinesis, I could, like, carry three lights. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the path goes in two directions. Oh, this is mold land, though. How do I... I guess I, I throw it. And... Yes. Ew. Do we have any mold people in here? Not yet. Another shaded facet. Okay, I guess that's just that. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you have today part three of Weed Question Series. If you ever visited my Twitter account, if you haven't, please never. I mean, you look at my Reddit. Posts get very popular. A lot of people enjoy my meme. <laughs> please call me pro meme maker. <laughs> I mean, you do make a lot of memes. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, the light broke. Achoo! Oh, Hartman. Huh. 
But I have visited your Twitter, Wilfu. Of course I have. Hmm. Okay, so that is, yeah, that's the corridor. It's the operations center. Mm hmm. The third thing. Third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Uh huh. It was stretched like a worm through time. <gasps> the third thing was a monster. Oh. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Phaeton. I don't care containment. I was listening to Alan. I wish I could get a flashlight. Okay, we need a power cube from somewhere. <gasps> of course, the most safe place in the world. A bathroom. Someone made their little office here. Is that because it was the last place with light on? Reminder. All employees hmm. are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control hmm. maintains that time is not subjective. <laughs> hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. As Wait, what? Do not accumulate overtime compensation. What the hell? Thank you for your attention. If you're in a different plane that has a different time scale, of course you should be compensated accordingly. What if the motel isn't like a place? But it's many parallel places that are almost on top of each other, but just distant enough that they can interact. But the people in the planes can't. That would be pretty cool. Does it keep going? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. The recording better work this time, or I swear to God. What? Hello? Who's there? Is he gonna die? I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my. Oh? Is it still running? I think it is. Because that distortion is still running. No, it's probably done. Hmm. <laughs> see, have you got interrogation complaint? Hmm. <laughs> There are so many people who are, like, driving by right now. The road was calm until I opened the window. Mm-hmm. Right, Hewitt is just upset. Okay. There's something here. More lore. Black market? Okay. A black market hub, especially in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered paranatural materials, was raided in blank Czech Republic, or Chechia, uh, today, uh, by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts uh, by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. Now, the following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. 
A. There's a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminals, uh, criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in popular areas. C. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Huh. Wait, are these side quests? Oh! Keto Parat. Light and the map. Ah, the hmm. pirates. All right, let's go make some new friends. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Oh no, that's just the darkness. Okay. And that's unbreakable glass. Because there are new, there are more plants nearby. There are many things. NASA Corporation interview. Uh huh. Oh, they're including black rock lining on the spacefaring vessels. Mm hmm. I don't. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see. G. Uh. -huh. Yeah, real quick. Upgrades. Not a whole lot of super new or super interesting stuff. Personal upgrades, nah. Nothing major. Mission, okay. Explore the investigation sector, but we also eliminate darkness, eradicate mold, and shine light on plants. Okay. For now, we don't even have access to controlling light. Oh, impact melee boost. Huh. Oh. Here we have a light. So it turns a bit on and off at random. Hmm. Would this be enough to con be considered light? Or is it more just a... Gentle illumination? Yeah, no, it's not enough. We need to... Wait. Where was the light machine? Oh, it's there. I saw the reflection in the mirror and was like, huh. Oh, and then we need another one. Okay. Eagle limited summary. Strange element resulting in 62 casualties, number of injuries. Okay. Hmm. One of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory effect. Oh. So things can just also become altered at random. And no, it's gotta be quiet. Don't mess with his epic gaming moment. I just, I need the air. Hmm. Pretty much entity A O one O. The shadow is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. A local manifestation of sentient shadow, or whatever, capable of occupying organic and inorganic materials as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Shared individuals, uh, human bodies by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain uh, some of their previous selves. And then shared objects, similar to the except inanimate objects are still used as destructive tools. Yeah. Just like an Alan Wake. Of the darkness is it's hmm. Okay, E. Uh-huh. But there's a dude there. With level seven. Oh, there are multiple dudes. I can feel them. The bullets are hitting me. There we go. Oh, even more dudes. Hmm. 
Hmm. Too bad everyone is weak to explosives. Hmm. <laughs> and also just getting objects to the face. Hiss Ranger Airborne. Yeah, that's a, like a brand new type. Yes, Rick, kaboom. <laughs> oh, these are all locations. Ballard, uh, Utah. Bright Falls, Washington. Pemberton, New Jersey. Lansing, Michigan? New York, New York. Rocky Mount, VA. VA. Eh? Like, it just makes me think of Vancouver, but that's in Canada. Mm hmm. Huh? I'm getting Virginia. Okay. And then we got Sterling C O. Uh. C-O. Colorado? Yes, that would make sense. Uh, we got... Ordinary M-E. Oh yeah, what was Ordinary? Um... Oh, I've read it so many times. Maine. And then the final one is a keystone, okay. okay. Now let's head into active investigations. That is also where Artie wants us to go, right? There's various parts of investigations. Hmm. Oh, that's like. I don't feel right. Huh. Okay. Something in this darkness is dreaming. Oh, it sure is. The so standing in the light damages me. Oh, standing in the dark damages me. We got several of these guys. I great, thank you very much. I'ma do that. And I'll stretch as well. Could maybe no, okay. So I can't grab that power cube. So whatever power we need in here, we'll find somewhere near here. Okay. Because we need at least two. Which is very important for activate humans healing mechanism. It works very strongly. I mean, water is very important. Shit. Oh. Now what? Oh, the dark doesn't damage me. It just drains my energy. What is that? That's Hartman. Come on, elevator, time to go. He's like, I don't know. He's like a. Oh, he's huge. Oh. He's like a westernized Wendigo or something. Activate the lights. To damage the creature. 
Oh, so I need to get him to like... Oh! Uh-huh. But can you turn the lights out? Hmm. Okay. Night Spring Screenplay. Oh! Okay. It's written by Ellen Wake. As part of an application to become one of the show's scriptwriters. Hmm. I really like Night Springs. It was super cool. Hmm. Oh, F is just to drop stuff I'm telekinesising. Oh, over there. I'm just turning on each and every light. Oh, so what do we have around here? Oh, I see the next area that needs light. But we need to grab another... Oh, it's right there. Oh, but I can't damage it. Okay, stand in the light. Be safe. Be good. Mm hmm. Okay, so there. The whole room is getting lit up. Also, Hartman background. Oh. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center. Oh, that's who he is. I, I forgot. Uh, Alan Wake got, like, admitted to, like, a private, like, asylum thing. Um, and by admitted, I get, I mean, he got kidnapped. And it was Emil Hartman. Hmm. Yeah, focusing on treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note for more uh, on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through autistic mediums, see file blank. So bards are real in this. Like, like D&D bards are real. Huh. That's pretty cool. Uh, investigations have proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released blank months later, and been deemed a negligible threat. His med medical license has been permanently revoked. Uh huh. His legs are very long. Yeah, how do you like that? Okay, so I didn't really defeat the creature, I just made him flee. Uh huh. Okay, now we know what is what's gonna be hiding in all the shadows around. What are you doing in investigations? Jesus, hmm. don't scare me. What are you doing, Langston? If you're talking right now, I can hear you. It's oh. a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Why are you talking so slowly? I'm not an idiot. Unlike some dude called Langston. So Bright Falls AWE, Eagle Limited AWE. From our role, AWE. Hmm. <laughs> Another shaded facet. I wonder what I'm going to be using them for. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. <laughs> the cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple of years. Oh, it's back. a couple of years back. Let me okay. Guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Doctor Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. Oh? That thing is a person? He was a person. Mm -hmm. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Uh-huh. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a 
lantern? Headlamp. Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You can wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. <laughs> right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Um, I'd rather not. Say that. Okay, Miss Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Okay, both the left and right one. Hmm. Oh, third thing. Was right. mm -hmm. What is AWE? Sorry, I'll play a like game while explaining the part. Uh, altered world event. It's like every time the world goes a wonky because of magic. That's an AWE. Yeah, from our AWE. Mm hmm. So by, yeah, for example, the, in, in the rules of this game, everything that happened in, like, uh, the Alan Wake game counts as one AWE. Hmm. Actually, I... I do love how the Bureau keeps finding kind of pronounceable acronyms. Like, objects of power are oops. Uh, two points. Yeah. And and now yeah, these are all. Surge. Surge fires adhesive munitions that detonate when uh manually triggered. Or when that timer uh expires. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I also like to upgrade shatter. Might as well get this one. Need more confiscated motives now. I mean, and money. So let's see. I uh, charge, surge. Okay. Okay, so if I aim, I can shoot as many as I want. But if I shoot while not aiming, then it's gonna then it's gonna blow them. I don't... I don't care a lot for it. Uh, sure. Actually... Ground slam damage after weapon hits. Oh! I'm gonna put charge on again. That's all for this. Melee damage after melee kills. Uh-huh. I really just want... I want this one to be red. Or maybe some other cool thing that I could use. But, like, yeah. I think I'm, pre I'm pretty fixed in what all my uh, mods are right now. Oh, this green is all dirty. Wait, why isn't that guy taking in damage? Huh. Okay, we've got Shadow there. We've got... Whatever this is. A big tub. Okay, bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Shoot a dodge efficiency, huh? Sure. Oh. We, have, we do, in fact, have a light we can bring. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Another shaded facet, nice. Then I guess the second we take this light somewhere we're not supposed to, it's just gonna burn out. They didn't want to give us a flashlight and a, and a cool battery mechanic. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we got a cube thing there. Oh, level eight enemies now. Heh. 
Wait, is that an angel? No, I don't think so. An angel with a shield would just be excessive anyway. He's, uh, oh shit, this guy's getting close. Okay. Able to connect to my favorite universe in Pacific Rim, a cool robot wrestling movie. The movie Big uh, Monsters coming out from the bottom of the ocean. Very special C uh, C maybe it's the EWE. Like it could be. It very well could be. Hmm. Like every every time uh a portal opens up that lets baddies in or an object has special magical properties that could be an AWE. Oh, it's all gooped up. Hmm. <laughs> Is there more stuff in here? Nah, no, it's just one small little patch of dark. So you need to make sure to. Let's make sure everything is clear of dark. Yes. Let me clear this. Okay. This is funny comment, and now I'm the only player who got killed in my team. I don't care about uh, Jesse as a super villain scientist guy. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's like that sometimes. Like when I'm trying to like talk to my friends and also play Destiny at the same time, I just get me and my team killed all the time. Okay, two boxes here. Shoom! What? I, I mean, it's shoom. Um, what? Also, new mods that I don't care about. Hmm. <laughs> Missions. Okay. Find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. I mean, it says find. That already has me worried. It's somewhere in active investigations. I'll come back to it. The third thing, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Press big button. Boop. Aha. Uh -huh. Activates elevator. Oh. Um... What now? Oh, this elevator. Oh, it's a hidden location! This isn't even the real elevator! Ah! Hey, Hartman. So I can't do much here. Hmm. <laughs> But I need to... Oh! Oh shit! Okay. I see. Nyum. So I could just go down. I thought that darkness was gonna kill me straight away or something. So I can't do anything about that. Because it's all goofed up. Oh, I can't do something about that though. Give me this cube. And give me the control point. The more control points, the better. That means I can teleport freely. Yeah, I have one point now. Actually, I can launch at large objects. Sure. I don't know if I want to get shield six, uh, like multi-launch though. Definitely not going to shield six. But <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to start putting points into things I legit don't care about. I mean, I have been doing that. Hmm. Because we've got buttons to push. Wait. What's the power cube slot at the top of it? Wait, 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 wait. I think... 
I have an idea. So, after we've moved it, we can do that, and it's going to shine light or something, right? Ah. Does it always shine this one light? No, okay. So this is how we're going to... Clear out individual spots. It was one bit over. No, okay, it just keeps moving. But that's not great, because I do want to free up that box. What if I set it to move? And, and do I, if I pull this out... Okay, it just stops. Okay. So we need it to be about right there. Okay. Yes, now... That wasn't enough. God damn it. Needs to move just like a quarter meter more. Now? Yes, perfect. Hmm. Okay. And then I think. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of other darkness, so we just send it backwards. Hmm. So we just need to clear out that spot. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Uh-huh. Okay, bye everyone. Have a nice day. I'm going to sleep. Uh, what do you think for streaming today? Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Oh, we have a wonderful night and great rest, Wupu. <laughs> I'll see you around. So what is... Oh, we're supposed to go there. Uh, come on, this crate looks so spe 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 special and specific. Oh. Escape the darkened corridor. Huh. Oh. Oh. That's kind of rad. Breakable things like that. It's not about fighting the fighting it, Jesse. It's all about just staying in the light. Oh. Ah! Oh shit. Okay, okay. So I can't have a chance to fight back against it. Hmm. Okay, we pull this lever? Okay. Oh. Well, we survived that encounter. It wasn't too bad. Mm hmm. All according to plan, or something like that. Oh, this is a dark area. I don't want to have a control point in the dark. Do I have enough money for anything? Nope. Hmm. I keep thinking that I unlocked a new outfit or something, but I know I didn't. Oh, there's a dude down there. So we've got another turntable kind of thing. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh, we got. 
some goop down there. Okay. Oh, more dudes. Oh, we do, we do need these. We do need the confiscated motives. Just looking around if there's any special loot. Doesn't seem like it. Nah. We'll have to do something down here once we've um, cleared the darkness or gotten some means of clearing the darkness. For now, rage operator room. Oh, this place is a little bit fucked up. Spider time. Uh huh. So just a dude who speaks in gibberish. Oh. Oh. Oh, he is healing quick. Okay. Yeah. We need to get that orb. Oh, that is a powerful orb. Hmm. There we go. Everything's better without those orbs. Okay. okay so where's this thing turning to? Oh. Ah. Nowhere, because it keeps getting stuck. Oh, yeah, those are the um, actual, like, magic people. Oh, come on, stop dodging. Uh, dodging. Just, yeah, get killed. Oh, really? Even an explodey guy managed to, just managed to dodge. That's kind of unusual. What was that? Oh. There's a sniper on me. Wait, what? Did he just evaporate? He just disappeared. Oh, no, he's there now. Okay. Gotta, gotta pick up some healing. I would prefer to not randomly die. Okay. Oof. And thanks for the hydrate star soldier. Thank you very much. Okay, and Time for the third wave. Oh when this thing turns it moves a light around. I never paid attention to that. Mm-hmm. Shifted offices. Okay, got a power cube receptacle. A locked door. And a goop door. Uh, oh, found it. That was very lucky of me. Oh, anything in here? No. Oh, honestly, I feel like this is a pretty neat mix of mechanics. The whole pick up items and use them to shine light. Although, I mean, oh shit. Oh, Hartman is even killing the hiss. 
But it's like, the service weapon can become just about anything. Why can't it just become a flashlight? What? But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend? Uh huh. What do we have here? A uh, letter? Chain letter. Oh. <laughs> I remember. Return to sender. Find a copy machine. Jesse finds a chain letter, which she decides to mail a few copies of, just to be safe. Remember these? Uh huh. Used to say they were evil. <laughs> Better do what it says. <laughs> you know, just in case. Here we are in the bureau. There must be a photocopier around here. So I have to find a photocopier somewhere. On Shaded Hartman. Where? There it is. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset of our understanding of A010, aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by, or produces, a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics uh, proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from his previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the, mo the host's personality remains blank to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank or investigation. Research, uh, researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Damn. Interesting. I uh, have to go do some sports in the stream. Have fun with everything. Thank you. Good luck with your sport. Have fun. <laughs> and hello, Twisted. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, we're getting closer to upgrading Surge. Even though I don't use it. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. I don't think that microphone does anything. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? A ranger did come! What's up with that? Oh, it's another uh, Night Spring screenplay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, just keep. keep throwing shit. It's bound to kill eventually. You know what? Yeah, come mine. Okay, we got dudes all over. I almost feels like I'll be safe if I just stay in my little office here. Oh. Flying guys spawn down in the hole and just fly out of it. Oh shit. Oh, more confiscated motives. Did my ranger friend die? I think he might have. Oh, he's still around up behind that wall. Oh, this just takes me down. Hmm. Just casually exploded. As you do. Okay. But yes, the screamers are a bad sign. Oh, okay. I also feel like it would generally be a very bad idea to kill enemies over the pit. Because in case they actually drop the loot I want, the loot would just be lost in the pit. Okay, got a big man down there. Easy to deal with just like this. Can't even 
build up his shield properly if I just keep eating shit. Who would have thought they'd just be weak to having stuff thrown at them? Okay, but... We survived in here. Oh yes, of course. Where was it? Was it? Oh yeah, it's down here. Loading bay vents. Mm-hmm. This area is so big. Wait, did I just I guess I like nudged it off. I don't I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way to go. Oh, <gasps> mold zone. Yes. Mold zone means good. Because Artie wants us here. Okay. There we go. It's loading bay vents done. We've got abandoned offices and AC systems. Uh huh. We did go through the abandoned offices. So eventually we'll have to go back to that. Ah. But this is part of why it's so important to explore everything. But I'm just deciding it's probably going to be easier to run back and do all the, the optional side content once we have, like, cleared the zone at least once. Ah, uh, it burnt out. Yeah, another control point here. They put... Okay, yeah, this zone is very linear. So I understand it. Also, Hartman is right there. But, like, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of just how many... Um... Control points they jammed in everywhere. Anything new that I care about? No. Okay, Surge, what are you taking? Grand Slam? I don't have Grand Slam. Evade cost after weapon kills. Huh. Let's get rid of some level threes. They are not good. Like here, what do we have? We evade cost on element pickup. Huh. Okay. We are getting more and more tier fives, which is a wonderful thing. Now, if only these tier fives were um, more usable and useful. Okay, but we've got another Hartman fight in here. From our own... Oh! It's from the NASA thing! Uh, from our summary. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point in their voyage uh, to the Framaro Highlands on the moon. Oh! 32 hours after returning the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was con uh, attacked by Mr. Blank a White House senior official, uh, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was, uh, was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA and, uh, security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter. Though tensions remain high, Bureau of Jurisdiction and Clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Aha. Uh -huh. And there's nothing in here. Okay. 
Okay, what? What am I supposed to be doing in where? Oh. I, I'm seeing light stuff over there. And also here. Ready? We got more loot. Okay. A supplement. Okay. Uh, a polyphony entity commonly known as Fra underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance to the old house. The entity could speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Oh, its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit space suit used by NASA astronauts. The same model um, worn by the other crew. Now, this could be an authentic EMU taken from one of, NASA, uh, one of the NASA astronauts, though this suit does not bear any uh, wearer's name, or a materialized through blank conversion or possibly blank corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact the uh, command module did not have a fourth seat and the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed. Now, this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown blank shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, you're back at work. I see. Well, I hope, you, I hope your work is going alright. Oh, fuck. This cube is covered in dark. So what do I do about that? Hmm. Is this this is not operable? Ow. Okay, so we've got lights around, but no lights that I can move. I can't free that. Going upwards isn't necessarily safe either. Uh huh. There are buttons, but they don't do anything. Mm hmm. I'm not chilling in the math class. I'm waiting for your friend, uh, for a student to come. Ooh. Oh, you're a teacher. Nice. Yeah, there's legit nothing in here. Hmm. It says arrow that way. Hmm. <laughs> okay, assistant teacher, you help your friend teacher. That is still super cool and absolutely wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I found. I found a cube. Wait, this one is also all darkened. What? Nope, don't, don't get me. Ah! Huh. Because there are two cubes. Both are all gunked up. There's nothing... I can't bring any lights with me. Oh! I didn't think this button was usable. What does it do? Ah. It moves that. Uh huh. Okay, and I can't go that high up. So if I do this again. Yes, it moves over there. This is perfect. Oh. Hmm. Ah! And then it moves itself away again. That is not perfect. Oh, it moves that way. Oh, but now. Oof. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. We did a thing. So what if I press this button now? 
Uh huh. We need to liberate that one. And now with this here, yeah, I can press this again, and it should move backwards. Yes. Hello, Doctor. Except he's not even a real doctor anymore. Okay. Okay, he's over there. So if I take that out, I can put it... Oh, fuck. Don't just grab random shit. There we go. Ooh. An elevator for me. Okay. I'm not. Oh, is this gonna light up the whole thing then? Yes. Oh, he's not gonna be happy now. Yeah, he's like slightly burning. He is very resistant to light. One less place for him to hide. Gerbil took the top head. Eh? What gerbil did what? Speak with the voice on the cell intercom. Sh sure? Whenever I find a cell intercom? Oh, lights, yes. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll always. Always bring a light. Oh, this seems like a random clump. Is it gonna be for uh, Artie's thing? All right, Artie. Yes. Was this what you had in mind? Oh, there's a clump up there as well. Ooh. Okay. There's probably gonna be one more in this duct somewhere or something. So that's. Oh, yes, yeah, right there. Okay. Nice. So there's one more in Eagle Limited and then one in the Utility Corridor. Helping out Artie is my passion. Okay, what if I... There we go. And we are... Ah. Oops. Oh, we're back here! Okay. Wait, is this the wrong... Oh yeah, we should not be going this way. Hmm. Yeah, we should be going out to active investigations. Oh! It tried to block us in or something? Why does it mark such as a new thing? Eh. Let's bring this even though it's definitely gonna get fried on the way. Hmm. <laughs> so we did the Framara thing. Let me go to the eagle thing, do that, and then Hartman is probably going to be weak and we can fight him in the Bright Falls one. Langston, you are crazy. Doesn't want to brag. Right. I, I mean, I, I am not a fan of Langston, but he's kind of fun. It's a little bit. Okay. No, no. Eagle Limited. I wonder what this one's all about. I, I Eagle Limited. It's probably a company then. Or something like that. Okay. Still, I don't know why people are making it so personal. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's <laughs> not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items <laughs> aren't 
that frightening once you get to know them. Yeah, Langston, I wonder why your flavor of weird isn't charming. I think it's because you have kind of... Then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race, and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darlin is a mile off. I was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense. Oh, shit, I can't. No, my light! I want to grab a piece of rubble. Okay. Oh, I'm out of yeet power. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just taking damage because I'm standing too close to that wall. Oh. Okay. More guys are spawning. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. I do think it... Like, especially now that I can throw these things back, it is kind of wonderful whenever someone tries to shoot grenades at me. Because it always comes back to hit them harder. So, yeah, with these guys being level 8, like, I think I've only seen a handful of, like, level 7 guys during the main story so far, like, hmm, these guys are quite a bit stronger. Hmm. Oh, yes! Oh, I picked up a corpse! Both of them. Okay, come on. Shoot more things my way. Hmm. I have plenty for you. Okay. So it's not just them at low health I can move. I can also just move their corpses. I do like that. Weaponizing the dead. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's not going to close behind me, is it? And here we've got... Lots of stuff in the darkness. Ooh, a little chest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seize accelerator. Ugh. I've been getting so many of those, and... While they are wonderful... They also kind of suck. Oh? This was somehow the place I was meant to go. I think. Or at least I'm pretty sure. Oh? Oh, there's a box there. I- Oh! Oh, the box is just breakable. Okay. <laughs> ah, the- the breakableness. Of this game is just wonderful. Oh, so there's a thing there. Yes, break. Break the goop. That'll let us have the power cube. I can then slot in like that. And then I'll pull this back. Did I just see like weird symbols through the wall? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I have to drop this. But yeah, this is the right way. Polaris is telling me. Oh? Director Faden here. Send back up to my hmm. location. Sure. How do they? How do they have dudes in this area that they can just call on? For like assistance. Hmm. Because like this zone has been 
closed off for years. There shouldn't be anyone in here. Oh, they've got an orb somewhere. Oh. Too slow. There we go. Ah, oh, it's gonna make them a lot weaker. Ciao. Hmm. <laughs> Like, the orbs are cool. I love that concept. Even though they don't... I don't know. I don't know if I'd say they fit. But I think it is more in the way that since everything is, like, a person, or at least related to a person, that just makes it weird to have something that is so distinctly not a person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like just a perfect sphere, just a, a, a ball, an orb. And it's not very like an organism. Hmm. Oh, and I think I climb up. Oh, I go in there. I think my poor guy down there is probably dead by now. <laughs> We got darkness goop in there. Salty corridor. Oh yeah, that's definitely the way forwards. Uh huh. Come on. Let's shine a light on this. Whatever it is. Oh. It's part of the arty thing. Okay, so looking around. There wasn't really a whole lot of goop in there. So it's probably going to be throughout the, the corridor then. Hmm. So give me my notes. Brain missing. To the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain caused me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if I lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now, I don't know which, of it, which it is, and I can't remember what you did to me, but I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Eh? So someone thinks... The airport metal detector is stealing their brain. Wow, that's a loud car. Okay, more darkness cleaned. I think I hear the darkness somewhere. I just need to find it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, right there. A massive meatball up in the corner. That's a utility corridor. The next bit of darkness is just even deeper in, in this zone. Okay, and... Critical dodge efficiency. Aha. Uh -huh. Is it going to be dodge efficiency after I get a critical hit? Because that is... A very specific kind of mod. Oh. Oh, yeah, and that's gonna. Oh, shit. Oh, the mold man. Yeah, if I, if I were to bring a, a light through this doorway, I'm sure it would break. I think I understand the gimmick now. That this breaks lights. AC systems. Also, we have that. Oh, this is just one small little room. Ah. But there is a mold room. Uh-huh. 
It's not... It's not exactly great when your, your air conditioning room is full of mold. That is kind of one of the least... It's one of the places you least want to have mold. Okay. Oh, Night, screen, uh, Night Spring Screenplay part, Page 2. Mm hmm. Nice. Don't feel like reading a screenplay, though. So where I'm really going is here. Okay, we have another power cube. There are several power cubes nearby. Oh. Oh, I see. Did the Hartman thing do mm -hmm. all this? Oh, no, no. there's been a lot of murder in here. So I have to follow the wires, and that can... Oh, then it... Okay, so it's like a puzzle thing. So we can open that, which is going to lead us to another power cube. So that will be... That one, and that one. Uh huh. So that's these two rooms done. I know I could do that, but I want to open up all these things first. So, th so this one needs three, and then, oh, that one needs four. Okay. This one has three oranges. It is that one. We follow this along to that one. What the hell? Hmm. And then we also want this long one that goes all the way over there. Where did the third one go? Oh, it's here. Okay, so this one is right. Oh yeah, this one is very much not right. We follow the long one. Through to that. And I'm pretty sure at one point, like, they're just gonna spawn a bunch of baddies in here. And initiate some really messy combat. Okay, now we just need to power all the blue ones. Hmm. And then we get our fifth one. Oh no, that's just a couple of boxes. Oh, actually, I never considered the difference between a yellow box and a blue box. Huh. But that was all we got from that. Not... Yeah, no lore or anything, just a couple more, like, materials. So now for... The yellows. So we only needed two. Interesting. Okay, we got another thing here. The law of three. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the All the faucets. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. So what's gonna happen if you invoke the law of three on a faucet? Because I know with the, the drawstring. Or like the, the like light pull thing. You can get teleported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Like imagine if you're just like washing your hands and you accidentally like trigger it a couple too many times and you just get teleported. That would suck. Then all of a sudden you're in a new location and with wet hands. I can move. The Exploder Corpses. Oh, that's kind of beautiful. But still, no proper upgrades for these. In personal mods, nothing new or interesting, really. Let's see. Oh, 69. Okay. Mm. 17, 16, yeah. But at least there's a lot of new types of mods, even if I don't care about most of them. If 
Lars wants us. Oh, it's in the control point. Kaleen. Yes, and Duke. Okay, so that's a train. Wait, is the Eagle? Yeah, the Eagle Limited one is the the train one. Lots of dark corners to hide in. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we wanna we wanna stay in the light. Is this light gonna move? Maybe to press the button. It's gonna turn on the next lights over. Yeah. These places can be entered. I should have been looking for more loot and lore. I mean, loot and lore. Like, I keep messing the words up, but like, I mean, this game, they're pretty much the same thing. Hmm. Anything up here? No, not really. Okay. But, now what? We moved the train a bunch. Go press this button. Oh no, it's still moving. Okay. Do I enter the train? I'm not allowed to enter it, but this button has activated. Oh, that just turns everything on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, poor Hartman. Oh, just smashing through the walls. Hmm. Okay. Dead in its tracks. Is that something about the train? I do want to run back to each of the little offices and stuff. Oh, this one didn't even have like a little office block at all. Well, that's probably why I didn't notice that there might have been uh, lore in there, because uh, there was nothing to hide the lore within. Okay, well, let's see. Dennis tracks. Investigate the train altered item. How do I investigate train? Do I just touch it? Oh, this door. All aboard. Oh, connect with the train. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Uh -huh. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good Violin. Evening, all you fine looking folks. A jazz singer. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears. As we wait for huh. that delicious dinner to roll right on in. So this is a fan- uh, Hmm. But I mean like... The train is small, it's super narrow. Meanwhile, this makes it seem like a- like a true, like, luxury experience. Next stop's Alton, Carlinville, <laughs> and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Yeah. Tickets, please. Oh. So yeah, there was a horrible crash and an accident. This door isn't opening. What is? Oh, this just takes me out. Okay. Well, that was chaotic. Felt like it was trying to tell me something. Yeah. 
We probably need to do something and it'll let us through the door. Hmm. Oh, I can play all of them at once. That is horrible. Uh huh. Is it like a certain order? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Hmm. Huh. Tickets, please, tickets. As we wait for that delicious dinner to roll. Huh. Let me look it up. Um. Oh, my fingers are getting cold. Control dead in its tracks. E mm hmm. Okay, so I need to do. A reef case. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Conductor's hat. Violin. Food. Uh, hammer. Mechanical parts. I should have probably waited for them to play out. It opened. Excuse me, ma'am. You have a ticket? No, I do not have a ticket. <laughs> okay. You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope mm -hmm. you're done replaying it now. Okay. So that's that. Now it wants me to do the wrong quest. No. E Sue Hartman, yeah. And I think wait no, Jebel took the top of his head is might have been the the like Lunar Lander thing at the middle of that exhibition. That would have probably been its cell. Oh, they've got meatballs here. Shaded specimen captured. Oh. I learned from the something uh, Washington monitoring station indicated minor blank activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the blank lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. Uh, he had been converted into a shaded individual and displayed violent behavior, characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitants were transported safely back to HQ. The specimen retains, uh, remains detained in the blank sector as part of the blank or investigation. Hmm. Sure. Is there loot? Nah. There actually is loot. Don't get me bold. The that mod was not worth any kind of risk. Okay. Ah, thanks for the stretching, uh, hydrate, Star Soldier. And some water. Nice. Uh, it's only not worth it if you die getting it. But it's something I'm never gonna use anyway. So, like, it's not even worth, like, stubbing my toe for. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too, uh, stuck in my usual mods. Correspondence motel complaint. And I say you have it with proof. I mean, yeah, but it's not... It's not even anything like special, it's randomly generated, I'm pretty dang sure. 
it's kind of weird that they put a bunch of chests in hard to find locations and then make it pointless little mods. Hmm. Uh, hey, Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Oh, yeah, he did. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some footage they pulled out of there with him. Uh, Tom down evidence processing showed me. Crazy stuff. A fisher had the cameras pointed at himself for half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. But one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow? Maybe human. Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. This reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later? These got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. What is Shroom? Oh, yes, yeah, the game. Hmm. Okay. It's like a. Oh, I thought it was like something weirdly slippery. But it's the, uh, the arcade machine I have to try and find somewhere. Okay, anything new? And we are. Yes. Wait, wasn't there some of the missions in, like... Let's see. Where is Shoom? Does Shoom say where it is? Active investigations? I don't care. Um... All loading bay, operations corridor, abandoned offices. The, no, that's a transit bay. Uh... An operations corridor. I don't even know where that is either. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Oh yeah, cause everything's yellow when it's like quest related. Okay, so we got nothing on that right now. Eradicate the mold. Abandon offices. Uh, eliminate the darkness. Eagle limited ore. Eh? I went r w right past that. Uh huh. I mean, I'm right next to it anyway. Might as well try. I just need to. I need to find a light and the darkness. This place isn't. I mean, it's still kind of dark, I suppose. But I also need to find a light of my own. Where is this darkness? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> eh? Maybe I'm just darkness blind. Hmm. Oh? Hello, Scope. Welcome in, welcome in. Yes, hello there, sibling. How are you doing today? Oh, oh, floaty boys. Pew, pew. Oh, nope. Really? I didn't get to hit with that grenade. No, I don't want to go down. Oh, wow, I am dangerously low on everything. Okay. Where the- oh, he's dead. Shit. Need to spawn in more now. Pew, pew, pew. Doing good? Nice. Ah, uh, has a control. The control is super nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, I've played the game before, but... Wow. Yeah. This is a, a DLC I never managed to get my hands on previously. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So I'm even experiencing brand new things. Ah! 
I was not expecting that. He's there. Oh, come on. At least something hit. You can't just go invisible on me. <laughs> Vigorous dodge efficiency. Doesn't really sound like anything I care about. There is darkness. Now, let me have that canister. Is this gonna... Hmm. I need to find a light somewhere. And I don't really know how. That is a speaker. There is a light in there. If I make it up to that office, I can pull a light down with me. Okay. I see. Wait, I never stole this? Or this? Oh, I wasn't in this office. A supplement. Yeah. Okay, but we need this. Yes. Take me down. I have... I have blobs to eradicate. Okay, look in every spooky little corner. Every little pointless crevice. That, again, very loud car. Yeah, because every little stupid corner can have a little meatball of evil. And it's our job to clean it up. Hmm. Oh, there's actually a light right here. A darkness blob that close to d the darkness is... Wait, no, a darkness blob that close to the light is... certainly interesting. And yeah, one of them was, uh, here? No. It was another similar little cubby. I think it's probably past here then. No, it's up there. Ah, I just too low. <laughs> Done. Yes. That should make him happy. Burn the dark. Welcome. Now Artie will like me a little bit more. And everything else was in the other part of this zone. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even get anything from that. Like, I don't think I got any skill points or anything? Yeah. Huh. Interesting choice. I mean, I guess they can't give skill points for everything. Because eventually I'll end up having more skill points than actual skills. Oh, I'm locked in. Okay. Oh, it's on the wrong quest again. Uh, pursue Hartman. So we know Hartman's around. We just need to figure out what his weakness is this time. Okay, so we got this. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, so there are gonna be four power cubes around. Huh. Oh. Fire and grabby things at me. Okay. Gah! No, Hardman. Understand personal space, please. Okay, back into the line. 
So what did I just unlock? What did I do? Oh. So, that was a bad choice. Ooh. Yeah. So I turn off the local lights. Uh. And what? Oh. oh. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Okay. And the the goal is I take the power core that's keeping this light on. And move it to somewhere else where it's more needed. But still. That has quite the cost. This one? Yeah, this one is not open either. Wait, where do I have to activate? Why do I have to shoot to open this one? Yeah? This one doesn't seem like it has any dark uh, red goo on it. Did I mess something up? Huh. Maybe? Can I only go for one at a time? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm taking this one then. Wait, no. Oh, the game has, has chosen for me. It was never my choice. Or maybe just because I ran past that one. But I don't want to... I don't want to finish with this one. This one is so far away. Shoot from here. Hmm. I don't know why they haven't been shooting in here. Okay. But yeah, I have to. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I am safe in the light, and Hartman is standing right between me and my goal. How in control I run. I, I, I am not in any kind of control. Everything is out of control. Okay, take this and just fucking run for it. Okay, the darkness hurts me. Okay. Lights on? Oh yes. Suck it, Hartman. Mm hmm. Okay. Sense of active investigations. So he went down or something? I Means it is gonna. Yeah. Take me back. Oh. Now where are we? Here. So I can just I I can I can just leave. Okay. Any new constructs? New. No. Oh, actually we need more hidden trends. Hmm. I can make shadow though. Let's just make shadow cuz I can. I don't even think that used anything that somebody else needs. 
and then G, and then put some kind of upgrade on it. Oh, 100% projectile speed. A yellow upgrade. I've never seen that. You know what? Yes. We're adding... Actually, you know what? Projectile spread down would be fun. Just like Shadow has plus 5 projectiles and plus 10 projectiles. And then less, like, spread. So it's just gonna be a, a shotgun beam. Yeah, but charge has projectile speed. That. Oh, it's only to shatter. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's projectile spread minus 100. Oh, I thought it was speed. That kind of makes it cool. So it's like the, the choke, but perfect. It... How does that even work? Uh-huh. So, like, yeah, it's... it's it's a shotgun with no spread on it. Very... Very interesting. Hmm. Zoom on PS... I do not care about zooming. I also had some personal mods. I type. Let's see. These ones. I got these ones. Uh, these ones are the same. These ones are the same. Okay. I'm just getting more different kinds of these things. I just want... I just want health recovery upgrades. That is all. Okay, but let's fast travel to Act Investigations. Everything in the Eagle Limited uh, AWE thing should be cleared and empty. And there is some stuff over on the right-hand side that we need to rerun through. But it's fine. Actually, maybe I should do optional stuff before I uh, kill Mr. Hartman. I don't know what's going to happen. Hmm. <laughs> but let's eradicate some mold. In abandoned offices. Wherever that one is. There. And I think... I think I did run into a... A mold place at one point. There was a door that was a bit moldy or something. Oh. Oh, yeah, baddies are spawning in. And they brought their orb Too bad they can't out heal just getting shit thrown at them. Die already, you stupid ball. Okay, and then just for the stragglers. That was... There was only one straggler. <laughs> okay, the shelter has... Does not have the stuff in it. Shelters never have super cool stuff. These are just bathrooms. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I just hallucinated thinking I knew where the fungus was. Oh. I thought the heavy object thing would be the way in. It is not. How do I get in then? I could bring a box out. And it... 
What the hell, game? You never told me this wall would be breakable. I mean, I love that. Give me more breakable walls. Hidden location. It sure is. Huh. Okay. More upgrades that mean nothing. I think this is one of the plants I need to shine light on. I just need to find a light to shine with. But it was not the mold room I was hoping for. Okay. And hello, someone. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Okay, now try breaking wall in every game. <laughs> We're never safe from from breakable walls. Uh, but it's just it's interesting because the the game has had a couple breakable walls. They they all just had cracks in them and stuff. Typical ways to show it was breakable. You coming with me? Hmm. I think this is... Yeah, I'm going the right way. Because this little plant needs my light. Right? There you go. Yeah. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, and there are multiple plants in here that needs light. Okay. I mean, I might as well do it since I'm here. Everything for my man, Artie. Yeah, plants? Where are you hiding, plants? I doubt they're hiding all the way back here. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Don't just... Ow! I just respawn stuff because I walk like two steps out of your zone. Ow. That's a reason I hate the angels. Hmm. Oh? No, we're not done yet. And another angel just spawned on it. What? They really hurt. Okay, that was damage for myself. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did I take keep taking damage there? Eh? Weird. Okay, but we got the plant in there is happy. We need to find more plants in these offices. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're spawning. <laughs> Bam. Is the range on that gun really so in immense? Uh, surprise at Odin Sphere on PS2. I thought, ew, what's with this game's awkward 4x3 resolution? And why the graphics are so grainy? I started looking for mods for it until I realized it had a PS3 release which was fully emulatable. Aha, uh -huh, I see. And I mean, many. Oh. Many PS2 titles were 4 by 3 This is what many home televisions were at the time. Yes, 
because there's nothing back here. And that's just a fire break. Hmm. <laughs> Now, from the ISO file, I got a, uh, as a PS3 file, Odin's it was encrypted. Injection about ISO decryption, but like that really took a lot out of me. Oh, yeah. I mean, trying to brute force decryption is... not a fun pastime. <laughs> uh huh. Is oh. I should stop. Oh, Angel. Okay. I should probably stop using this weapon. If he's just gonna explode me every time. Yeah, because it doesn't go very far for some weird reason. Are you angel? There you are. He's not dead yet, though. It's it's gonna try and be sneaky. Come on! No, I'm too slow. Oh, yes. No damage for me. Lots of damage. Jesse, stop grabbing things that are around the corners. Okay. Check for motion. Is it dead? I... I guess it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a plant right here. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Hmm. <laughs> and there aren't any no, there are no secret pathways here. That would lead me to Fungus Town. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put it up, uh, the game on our PCS3. Damn, Vanillaware really went above and beyond for that remaster. It was absolutely gorgeous. Though I somewhat uh, preferred the Japanese aesthetic of uh, Muramasa instead of a high fantasy, uh, as well as big titty kits and mummy milkers. But as far as uh, everything I wanted Muramasa to be. Ah. I see. Maybe. <laughs> I think I see. Is there gonna be a, a flower, like a plant in there? I I doubt it. Uh huh. No Let's check it. Mold spore circulation, but it might get a bit stuffy in here. Uh huh. Yeah, this isn't where the plant is. Okay. Yeah, uh, how do you describe the sitch of this game in small, concise form? Um. Yes. So, uh, Jesse, the protagonist, had a run-in with an SCP as a kid. Uh, and they they took a brother. So now she got a job at uh, the SCP Foundation, uh, and she's now the director. And everything's gone to shit. So she's trying to fix it. Hmm. <laughs> oh wait, legit SCP? It's not legit SCP, no. Uh, here they call it the Federal Bureau of Control, but um, it, it's their own universe, but it's the same concept. 
Hmm. And instead of SCPs, they call them altered, uh, altered items and objects of power. But it's it's all very very super duper SCP inspired, and it's quite lovely. Hmm. Okay. God, my heart went. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe a. Uh, a very exciting way to put it. Oh, is that plant? Okay. So it's Operations Corridor. Wait. Uh huh. That is. The one right up ahead. Huh. Lovely. Oh. I gotta imagine if it actually said in the SCP bus. Honestly, I, I prefer it this way. Because, yeah, this way we can get, like, a, a, a much more direct and, like, um, more, more curated things. But, actually, you know, with how... Open the SCP world is. Like, it would be. It wouldn't be too unlikely that the Federal Bureau of Control and the Foundation could exist in the same universe. Hmm. Okay. We have we don't have baddies down there yet. They'll probably spawn soon. I need to find some plants. Actually, where am I now? I need to be in the corridor. It's I'm specifically looking for plants in the corridor. Is it these ones? No. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay, how many other plants? There's that one. Anything over this way? Oh, just a secret little thing hidden away. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, and I'm doing tasks with the janitor, who's definitely also some kind of entity. <laughs> yeah, so next it's the, the loading bay over there. What other quests? Uh, Shum, or Shum is in active investigations. And the copy machine is an operation center, okay. Let's look for the copy machine in here. And baddies have spawned. Let's uh, murderize them. Oh, they have an orb. They're, and they have angels. There's barely any reason to fight anything as long as the orb lives. And the angel has me very unhappy. And I'm dead. Okay. They are really throwing a lot of those angels and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it's pointing me back at the offices. Okay, take me to... Uh... Active investigations, I guess? Yeah. And then I'll go south. Thanks for the hydrate and stretch someone. Wow. Honestly, I've stretched so much, my back stopped popping. Oh, did it once. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hmm. Actually, yeah, um... As an expansion on the whole uh, situation thing, uh, this is a DLC. Ah! Okay, for the game that is centered around Alan Wake, uh, another game from the same developer. <clears throat> okay, it went invisible. Angel, stop moving. Oh. Do you need to find a copy machine? Uh huh. This is a bathroom. Oh, the copy machine's right here. Copy the chain ladder. Here, can we speed it up? Haha. <laughs> I have to mail three of them? Utility abandoned offices and observation deck. Oh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> mm hmm. Right, anyways, before I go back to Odin Sphere, I'll leave the message. Nilaware rocks, play 30 Sentinels, you coward. And finish Hollow Knight, for Christ's sake, you coward. I did finish Hollow Knight. Hmm. I did. That was a long, long time ago. Whew. Of course, this is filing and processing. But where do I mail a letter in here? On the service tunnel. Oh. That's one cent. Mm hmm. Back to the fire break. So next we do utility corridor. However, we get in there. I guess. Yeah, the turntable, and then we run to the corridor. Uh huh. This way? Yes, this way. I'm gonna summon one of the bros, though. Send a ranger out. Director's orders. Director's orders. Let's put him down. Don't worry, soldier. You'll be fine. Oh, this isn't the place I can go. Can I go here then? No. How do I do anything then? You got a red light there. I'm playing something's broken. I got scared by that dude for a sec. Uh huh. Yeah, that just takes me out again. Hello, hello, Promethean. Welcome in, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Oh, of course, because I'm supposed to go up. It was the other place where I'm supposed to turn it and stuff. Okay. Oh. Now, to find a vacuum tube bit. Take, yes. I do, I do honestly love those like vacuum tube systems. Cause you just, you just put a letter in a tube and it goes Zoom. Like who, who doesn't love that? Two down, one to go. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, I'll just, I'll run backwards. <laughs> hmm. Uh, doing heckin' great. I'm checking out uh, other streamers playing Control. Ah, I just started myself. Nice. Hope you've been enjoying it. It is absolutely one of my favorite games, and I'm just replaying it. Uh, but I'm creating the DLC right now, which I haven't done before. 
Hmm. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty, pretty well myself. What the? Oh, that guy's a big gun. Hmm. Because next is observation deck. Where is that one I'm thinking of? The Fromaro entrance. Yes. I'm having tons of fun still in the early games, I don't have a uh, ton of the fun abilities. I mean, honestly, I'm really glad a lot of the abilities come pretty early. But yeah, you absolutely have to get a bit into it, but... Oof. They're great. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, right here. And that's three. Don't just shift it offices. Take care of any bad karma or whatever. Yeah. How did that first letter get in here? I wonder if I could track it to the source. Track it to the source. Probably it's just some weirdo. Hmm. So there's a yeah control point here. And we also have something to do in the loading bay. So if I go to the loading bay, uh, there it is. It's fun just to move the mouse and to actually read. <laughs> and I guess I go. I guess I should just follow the tube. Huh. That's a mailbox. So you're the one sending oh. Spam mail. A, a mailbox. And that takes care of that. Huh. No more superstitious blackmail. Wait. Did I get an upgrade thing about the mail thing? No? I have no idea what it just gave me, but it gave me a point. Hmm. Okay, let's see, uh, the light on the plants, yeah. I'm still going through the communication area just after meeting Emily. Ah! Yeah, so you're quite, uh, early on then. This is the director. Mm -hmm. I need immediate assistance. The hiss are in for him now! Okay. But yeah, I hope you don't mind, uh, any possible spoilers or something then, because this is... I, I, yeah. I'm far ahead and I'm side questing. Oh? No, not another one of. I don't want your poems, Langston. Okay. I'm just looking for a potential light source. Hmm. So I can shine light on plants, but I guess there aren't any here. I have to find some light in here. Oh, there's actually, yeah, there's plenty of light. Okay, so I have already found the first plant. Oh, she's going to love me after this. Oh, that—that that is a beam. I was actually just about to hop off to avoid any. Yeah, uh, actually, I had to hop on myself. So I have to. Ooh, nice. Good luck. Have fun. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> and thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, that's a loud car. But yes. Good luck. Have fun. Hope you have a wonderful time. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see you around. Oh, another plant. Bzzz. And now, just for a third. Also, why, why is there a potted plant in a loading bay? 
The last one is probably down here or something. Or even further down below. Honestly, Artie was probably the one who stuck it in here. Actually, I mean, the most logical place for a potted plant would be in here. But I don't think... Oh, it's right there, actually. Here's some mm -hmm. sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial. Nice. Hmm. How does that look? And that's the last one. Yeah. I should appoint someone to take care of these guys. Oh, does that? Okay, so that's for spin. That's for pierce. Shot charge down minus a hundred percent. What? So on. Uh. Let's see, spin, we've currently got rate of fire. Weapon damage after kills, 100%. And for Pierce, we've currently got damage while aiming, could become shot charge time. So what, is it just gonna be... Supervisor of houseplant well-being. Oh! I... I like that. We definitely need to upgrade Pierce then. Now it's it's just immediate. It's just straight away. Because that's active investigations. That's uh, also active investigations, and this is yeah, the actual location. Uh, from our role, A W E, this one. Hmm. <laughs> Things have definitely spawned in there. What? But where's the cell intercom? Is it one of these buttons? No, this is to move the light. Oh. Oh, it's a holding cell. Ah, it's not a shelter like these things usually are. Yes, B? Worry who? Oh, it's the guy who can't speak properly. Read about us today. Long roads and no hardly. You are a bygone? Uh, sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, casual turning. Back in front. And Gerbil took the top head. Not being... Gerbil took the top head. Maybe going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you uh -huh. The head? The head for tales? For reading news, jars, words, and tumbling. The reading head. Okay, okay. The reading Take head. I'll... Uh... I'll take a look. So, maybe it wants something to Yeah. Read. Like a newspaper or something? Uh, Let's just see what we can find. Hmm. This could be what it wants. Let's it's my birthday. Shot. Please take some. Ah, uh, the reading head, something, something. I'm not sure. I think. I mean, yeah, it probably doesn't actually want whatever it is. It's like directly saying, but I don't think food is what it it wants the most. You know, it's probably quite hungry. Yeah, this is taking us into the tunnels. I doubt we have to go that far. Looking around. Do we even... Is there even anything other than the food? Oh, it could be something stuffed back in one of these crevices. Uh huh. No, it doesn't seem like it. Unless, whatever it wants, 
doesn't really spawn because we already picked up an item. We can also want glasses or something. No, no. Jars. Jars. A head. head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. Something we can steal from the module? <laughs> hmm. Jars, scotch and peppers, head. Huh. I have a feeling this is less about figuring it out and just about finding anything, really. Toilet paper? I could want this. It'll like this. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we can only pick up one thing at a time. Interesting. Head. A S B E. Head. Nope. <laughs> Let's keep trying. A S B E. Head. Asb. I mean. It probably doesn't want asbestos. Maybe this. Okay, toilet trick? paper. I'm just gonna give it anything and everything. Guess that wasn't it either. Huh. Uh huh. But also, I love how we're not doing anything. Like. It's 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 a sentient and probably sapient creature. We we have it locked away in a holding cell. What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> Lady, you are school and dirt for losing. Keep that up and I won't help you anymore. Okay, so that was also wrong. Maybe there's something up here at this platform? No. Okay, probably in the uh, mobile lab two, where we found the food. Oh, a ball. Let's see if this will do it. Yeah, I didn't find that at all the first this. time. The head. head is top of all up and down. At the top. The top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Maybe. Where the hell am huh. I gonna find that? I have to go all the way to the sector head office. Uh-huh. I mean I can hop, I can pop back in. Okay, fast travel. All the way down there. Where is it? By the sealed fire break. Okay. On the safe side. Look for a head. Somewhere around. Oh. Beat the hiss enemy. Oh, it's a ranger sergeant. Oh. I did a bunch of damage without even breaking the shield. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I got a hidden trend. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. The prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way. It's it's the prisoner's own head. Let's find out. Mm hmm. Well, we can help it out now. Just gotta run all the way down. Okay. 
The head. Chicken River Chicken Station. <laughs> Far tastier. Press any button. Wait, am I actually gonna let it out? So the helmet is what you're after. Oh no, okay. Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're huh. welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's lying around. But blown out an atheist. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just <laughs> make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this what guy. What mod thin space? Okay. What's it a mod for? Exclusive to charge. Projectile speed. Five. Hundred percent. So we have projectile speed eighty nine. Let's put projectile speed five hundred. So what does it do? Best we have no idea what it is, and It's again it, it just makes the weapon pretty much immediate. Uh-huh. I mean it is wonderfully interesting. And I am a fan of all these mods we're getting. Are more personal mods? Yeah, but none that I care about. No, I should definitely clear them out. Hmm. Because I have too many. And now there are only nine slots left. Even though I only have one of each type. Okay, let's also see missions. Yeah, we have Shroom. We have the third thing. Uh huh. And this one is in active investigations. Let's go to the operation center. Or is it called, it is called Active Investigations, okay. Hmm. Ah, yes. Isn't... Yeah, didn't the... This thing tell me to, yeah, return to Active Investigations. Hmm. It's probably downstairs. Ah. Uh. But yes, actually, it is quite um a practical time to uh oh, hop off for now because it is almost. Six o'clock, which means it's almost my dinner time. Wah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna try and fight the Hartman, who I guess is the boss of this DLC or something. I'm not gonna, not gonna fight him in the last five minutes. <laughs> Thanks for the head pets, Bobo. But yes. Thank you everyone very super duper much. I'm looking forward to continuing control. Because I I really enjoy the game and the DLCs are just making it more fun. Hehe. <laughs> I hope I get some kind of cosmetic for beating it. Something Alan Wake themed. <sighs> but yes. As usual, not streaming tomorrow, but we'll be back on Wednesday. Same time. Same place. I think even same game. Unless I put Simpsons on. We'll see. <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you everyone very much for being here. It's always wonderful. And uh, I'll see you around. Bye.